chanted over everything. Who were look, pygmy people. Yeah, look, see, see when the white men came, yeah. then they, they were you need to understand, yeah? That's the name Somali. Okay. Uh, the, the, the nation, Somali as a nation, is an invention. It just came recently. But yeah. Somali as people, the, the word Somali is a tribe name. You understand? Mm -hmm. it, comes from the, it comes from the root word of Somali. And Somali is one of the ancestors of Somali people. Somalis have two ancestors, Saab and Somali. And they speak two dialects, Mai and Hatri. It's like uh, 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 New Zealand English, oh, American English, oh, British English, basically. Like, or slang, not slang words, and yeah, yeah, have different yeah. slang words, right? Now, same thing with the Somali. Now, and then you've got other Somalis, like uh, 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 Arab Somalis, who came to, they're just, they're like, they came to Somalia yeah. around this uh, uh, 14th century when Somalia had children through trade. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Also, they've got a little Indians that mix up with them, blah, blah, blah. They have their own community, right? And in Somalia, if you're not part of a tribe, you have to create one for yourself, a confederation tribe. So they have their own confederation. And then you have the Jeradwaini, right? The Jeradwaini are a very massive tribe, and they have done a lot to contribute to the country and to, mm -hmm. you know, to Somalia. However, and some people might, might, be, might be, you know, a bit sad about what I'm about to say, but that's the truth and it's history. The truth about this is like, uh, the Jeradwaini people, some of them, right, came there as businessmen and traders around the 14th century, 18th century. And some of them came there as slaves, and some of them just came there as farmers working in the farm. Oh, some of them came there as slaves? Yeah. What did they look like? What do you mean? They were, were, they Kush, were they Kushite or were they no, no, Bantus? No, no. I'm talking about Bantu. When I say when I say Jeradwaini, I'm talking about Bantu. So that tribe was the Bantu tribe. Yeah, the Jeradwaini is the Bantu. Oh, tribe. I see. Okay. Yeah. So some of them came there as traders, mm -hmm. and, and because earlier you said uh, people that look yeah, like yeah, him, yeah. so I'm talking about people like. Look okay, like him, right? I see. So um, they came there as some of them were traders. Yes. Uh, they go back a long, long time. They settled there. Some of them were, you know, uh, farmers, mm -hmm. and some of them were slaves. Okay. You understand? So, but the thing with uh, slavery in Somalia is that let's say if someone is your slave and he's a Muslim and all of that and he's very well, you give him, you can free him, give him a land, give him a wife, give him whatever he wants. Wait a minute. Muslims can't have Muslims as slaves. Yeah, but if, 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 he's, a, if he's a Muslim, you let him go free. That yeah, was, but you can't take him as a slave in the first place if he's a Muslim. No, he wasn't a Muslim to begin with. Okay, I see. Because we had to go to Zanzibar and name okay. places. And, so far, like, to All right, so what you're saying is when they were used as slaves, they were not Muslims, but then when they converted to Islam, yeah. they became Muslims yeah. and then they were separate. Yeah, to the extent, to the extent, to the extent that they, 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 they became tribal leaders. All you right. Know, in some, some communities, they represent, they started their own community. And the thing about Somalia, let me tell you something about Somalia, yeah? If you go to Somalia and you are very active, okay. right, and you're doing something that's similar to what they like, that's it, you are going to be respected. That's just the way we are. You know, so yeah, and also Somalia is the only African country, mm -hmm. or, or we're the only African clan or tribe that has a country. Because if you go to Ethiopia, yeah. you've got 82 tribes, mm -hmm. right? One of the tribes is Somali. You go to Kenya, because uh, 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 you've got a lot of clans or tribes, one of them is Somali. You come to Somalia, there's only Somali. However, within the Somali world, you've got, uh, uh, within, within the clans, you've got sub-clan. Within the big tribe, is bra this is a tribe, umbrella, right. then sub-clan. So one tribe called Somali, and then within Somali, you've got different clans. Yeah, so all these clans come back to the same ancestor. Some, yeah, yeah, some yeah. I've heard that before. So basically, yeah. we are cousins. Your cousins. Do you get what I mean? And that includes, what was the name of the Bantus? You said, Ware, Ware. Who? The Bantu tribe, you said when some came as traders, farmers, slaves, yeah, you yeah. said their uh, name. Basically, uh, I couldn't pronounce Wared. Uh, nah, so some of them are called Jeradwaini at the moment. Jeradwaini. That, that's their tribe name or their confederation name, Jeradwaini. And then within that confederation tribe, you've got, you know, many sub clans that come oh, okay. under. But, you know, they are very respectful and very respected, you know. Um, yeah, and they, they, they actually do major things in, in the country. Mm. Do you think, these uh, are the only people, yeah. and the reason why I respect them is that when yeah. Somalia was collapsing and, and we were all killing each other for the sake of political instability and tribal war, these people had nothing to do with it. They were like, they just watched it. They were like, you know what? We don't want to get involved in this. We're going to do our own thing. You guys, you know, kill yourself if you want to do, or we just want to focus on, on our farms. And, and it does hurt me some way because it kind of affected them somehow as well, Easy. you know, so they had to flee the country and go to Kenya and then play. So in regards to, thanks for that, that was a lot of info and yeah. on S Somalis, which I uh, find appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just looked over came back. What I was going to ask was in regards to, um, what, um, what's his name, Sheikh? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, what you were saying about when he said that the Berbers are African. Yeah. And then I was asking him, are the Boers African? And he said, yeah. no, because they came as colonizers and they distanced themselves from that the black people. That's yeah. why he was saying. But with the Indians in Tanzania and Kenya, he didn't. He said he accepted the ones in Natal and Durban. 
as Africans, but the ones in uh, the East, he said they were involved in the slave trade. That was in the Indian Ocean slave trade. He said their ancestors. He was involved in slave trade? He said the Indians, when I asked him about the Indians in Tanzania, Kenya, he said that. The, Indians, let me tell you something about Indians. Indians never enslaved anybody. That's what he if was anything, claiming. If anything, I don't know about what the Sheikh said, I wasn't listening to that point. Yeah, he, he, I said said that, anything, he said that they, was, um, they invested all, they, yeah. were, they, they financially had financial um, yeah. interests. Yeah. Maybe in the later years, like the because Jews the end of the, the day, what you, know, what you understand is that India itself was under slavery, right? Yeah, India yeah. itself was under slavery. Yeah, also, was, if, if we're going to go back in history, around, uh, what was it called, during the uh, Vedas, uh, is it, is it the, is it the Vedas? Vedas? Is it, no, no. Well, um, the Indus Valley. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about, there's, there's, there's a religious movement, I don't know if it's the Vedas, Hinduism. the Vedas era, no, I think it's the Vedas era, so I forgot the name. The Vedas in the Vedas era? Yeah, I think that's like, yeah. Because the yeah. main reason I was asking... Uh, the reason why I'm asking, what, what I'm saying is, is when this religion started, and the main uh, 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 creed of the of religion was to not pass the Indian Ocean. Okay. Because if you pass the black waters of the Indian Ocean, you'll be cursed. Okay. So that's what the people of the Vedas believed in. So if their religion, tells them if you cross the ocean you're cursed why would you cross it but they were taken to but then when, when people came uh, for example when uh, 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 portugal got there they were taking them you know left right center yeah, they were taken they took i thought they were taken to africa against the wills no some of them were taken to africa against the as, as an army you know oh, okay. yeah most of them were armies because uh, the main example, in, in, in for example you know sudan yeah. Right, even though they defeated the, the colonialists, at the end of the day, they were a bunch of Indians. In Somalia, when they came to Somalia, even though they had a lot of Indians, it took them o over 30 years yeah, yeah. to control, to get hold of one city, the, the British. And then they had to be like, fuck this, we're going to call France. So we were the only African country that were colonized by three different countries. So three th uh, th uh, superpowers. None of them could do nothing to it. I wanted to get back to this thing where we were talking about migration and when someone becomes an African and the way you feel about Berbers. Okay. You, do you, you know that there are some Berbers who are like blonde haired, blue eyed, got yeah. red hair, and okay. we can go back to their ancestors, the Visigoths or is it the Vandals? One of the ones that had a colony in North Africa. And then you had the Romans, the Macedonians invading, settling, then you had the Barbary pirates. Oh, no, the Barbary pirates, much later on, they were bringing uh, Europeans, British people. Barbary pirates. pirates were based within... Um, on the Barbary coast and the yeah. three Barbary, well, not kingdoms, but you talk about Morocco, which was yeah. the independent one. You're talking about uh, Ch uh, Tunisia and I think Libya, what was Libya before. Mm. But they were supposed to be, uh, what's the word? They were supposed to be controlled by um, the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire. Okay. The Morocco was the only one that was independent, but those there were three Berber kingdoms. Yeah. Have the Barbary Wars, the Barbary slavery that could actually that actually controlled Europe. Yeah. And they, they were actually, bringing in lots of Europeans. Well, you're 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 no, no. Yeah, but, they, but what I'm saying is they were bringing in Europeans as slaves yeah. to yep. be sold, and they used them there. So this contributes to why certain Berbers are really light skinned. Okay. and white so look, i'm trying okay, to find okay, out okay, to you okay. when do you start is. viewing someone as an african when do you how long do they have to be there their ancestry okay the thing is this yeah mm. um berbers divide into like three color shades if i could say or four or five yeah. right uh dark skin right they're so dark like dark dark skin but you know their hair texture their facial features still there sure. right some of them are brown so, uh, everything is still there. Then you've got light skin or white, and then you've got like blonde white. That what you're talking about. So that's more of a spectrum. But, thing. Yeah. That's just like a but spectrum. then, but you have to watch. It's, it's like it's like a thermometer, right? Okay. When you go southern North mm -hmm. Africa, people get darker. Okay. The okay. northern you get to yeah. Europe, people get lighter. They get lighter. And that explains the uh, uh, the Moors, right? The Moor era. Uh, when, when the Moors were, you know, invading uh, Spain. Spain and them areas, and so, all, all what was it called Eastern and Southern Europe was under uh, the Berbers and Islamic. No, it uh, was for uh, control, a period. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. So that was an influence. So basically, if I'm a Somali yeah. and I went to America, yeah. I took a white wife, yeah. or or here in the UK, I took a white wife. Okay. I went to Somalia, she she had kids now, yes. and then my kids marry other other people, okay. and then you got light skin, so mine's with blonde eyes, yep. blue eyes. I am the father, they count to my tribe. Okay, I see. Let's say I am, that's not my tribe by the way, but let's say I am uh, 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 Isaac, right? Mm -hmm. If I am Isaac, they'll count to, to my tribe, Isaac, yeah, they'll, be the Isaac, they'll be part Through of Through the father? Yeah. So they're still African, you can't ah, deny okay. that, right? However, if the mother, yes. if the mother is, because uh, in Africa we count to the father. Mm -hmm. If the mother marries a white man, 
and she brings them back to Africa. Yeah. We cannot say they're African. Really? Yeah. Oh, so if the <laughs> okay, so if the if the father is black and marries a white woman and brings her back because through if the he father, comes back to yeah, the father. through the father. But if it's the other way round, they're not African. Yeah, they, so they, they could have, be. They have a they have a fifty percent claim to the country. Wow. So now that's how that's, you that's do. That's according to tradition, right? Yeah. Now the. This is Somali, right? Now that Somali is becoming, or I'm assuming it's becoming more in accordance with science now. Or what? In accordance with science now. Okay. Right? I, I, is it? I don't know what that means though, right? In terms of now that we have, all right, we have we have uh, DNA, okay. we have all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. We, we have tests that we can do. Yeah. So is Somalia becoming in, in more accordance with that information? Somalis are the most Physics ethnical, homogeneous people in Africa. No, but are they, do like, they, do they, they, study? they, they come from two, like we've done, we've done, the, the, actually there was a, several tests that was done and Somali people come. No, that's not what I meant. What? I, did, I didn't mean who the Somalians are themselves. Yeah. What I meant was, do they deal with science and technology? You have universities Yeah, Somalia, yeah, of course, right? yeah, we do. Right, yeah, yeah, so yeah. what I'm trying to say is, traditionally they thought of this patrilineal, um, you are this line of whatever, yeah. but now do they come with a coordinates and say, well, we're bo we are both our mother and father? Uh, no. That was my question. The thing is this, yeah? This tribal thing is really important. It's political, it's cultural, and it's religious at the same time. You understand? So, the reason why, okay, that's, that's why, innit? So you can't get rid of it because throughout time, through this law that we had, we were un untouchable. You understand? For example, look, I'll give you a very simple example. There was a man who the British called the Mad Mullah, but we call him Sid Abdullah Hassan. He's actually a, 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 an icon, okay. he's called a very well-respected guy. So when the British colonizers came, they were the first to come to Somalia before the Italian and French. They came and they tried to conquer or take over past Somalia. So, but they came as friendly. So when the Sayyid came back from the Hajj, he saw little kids, I don't know if this is true, but some people say this. He saw little kids wearing the Christian cross. And that is when he lost it. Before he was all right with it, like this guy, just like maybe they were teaching people, I don't know. But when he saw that, guess what he did? So that's why Somalia is known as the land of poets, the, the nation of poets. poets. Yeah, the nation of poets. Okay. That's where poets come from, basically. Because that's another topic. But uh, so he just recited one poem. One poem shook the whole of the Somali regions, from south to north to west, everywhere. The British were like, "Where the hell are you people coming from?" Because they thought they were only northern Somali now. They thought, "Fuck, what are we gonna do now?" Right, one poem. And guess what, what was in that poem? He named all the tribes. It's like, your ancestors, he started talking about their ancestors and how brave they were. Yeah. Who are you to coward now and sit back and watch your people getting turned into, you know, being crossed, what was it called, uh, turned into Christians and so what, you know what I mean? Okay. So, to the extent, the, 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 what was it called, the British and Italians tried there, they even built a church. Not even one Somali went in that church until today, it's just, you know what I mean? They try but but you get what to with the, the the thing you could marry a Somali woman of I don't know Darud or uh, Argesh, Isak or whatever you could marry her, <laughs> have kids, and your generation could stay in Somalia for 50, 60, 70 years. Yep. You your your ancestors, descendants wouldn't be regarded as Somali though because your bloodline and your tribe. Yeah. You'd be, yeah. You'd be lucky. And, that, and that's you, why you'd be. Look, it doesn't matter whether you're white or black. Let's say yeah, he's yeah. a white man and he started his own, his own people there. Mm -hmm. If he's a small tribe, he's inferior yeah. to everyone. Else. Okay. If he's a what, sorry? If he's small a small tribe, tribe oh, he's inferior to so everyone. So if you're a big tribe, then yeah. you know. If you're a big tribe, obviously everybody's going to be like, step back, you know what I mean? Like, these people, you, everybody would avoid you, they'll try to be, you know what I mean? Nobody wants that business. Because I don't know if that could happen in Nigeria. Like, you could marry a Nigerian woman. Let's say you marry a Yoruba woman or Hausa and you could then settle in Nigeria. And then 50 years down the line, I'll be interesting to know, would your descendants be not then seen as Hausa? Because you would live up in Sokoto and you'd be married to this Hausa woman. Or would they still say no because your great, 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 great grandfather was from the Caribbean, you guys are on. Yeah, but we're not from the Caribbean, are we? we yeah. could, I could have come from Nigeria. Exactly, that's what yeah, I'm thinking. That's... See, what you don't understand is, in Nigeria, mm. you've got different tribes. Yeah. Not mm. clans. Tribes, tribes. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, this goes you back to what you told me. The clan he told tribe. me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Somalia yeah. only has one, one tribe. One tribe, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, or let's just say two, Saab and Somali. Mm. If, if, if most. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's yeah, I remember you said that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's so easy to identify what's going yeah, on. Yeah, okay. You know, because everybody knows. For example, right now, let me tell you this year, it's very incredible what Somalis have. I went to Ethiopia. I got robbed on the way. Wow. I had no money, Sorry I had to nowhere to sleep. I was just walking, I went to this restaurant and I, and I spoke to Somalis. They were like, hey, what's going on? What's your, the first question they asked me, what is your clan? Yeah. Okay. I said, I am that, that. Okay, they said, give me your four names. All you need to know is my four names. Uh, uh, that, 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 I gave them. Oh yeah, I know your great granddad and my great granddad are related. Come, let's go, what do you need? Wallahi, I was sleeping in a nice luxury hotel. You know what I mean? They were like, okay, until you get in your help. I had to call friends. Like, they gave me at least one week, you know what I mean, to, yeah. and they were paying for everything. So that's the help that it comes with. So it's, it's a really commune, commune thing, you know? Yeah. If, if you're in the, on the right side, if you're on the wrong side... What do you mean? I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming that's because you were, you were related to and you were the right no, tribe. You just said the wrong No, no, no you just said the wrong Basically, plan. basically... Because remember, I used him as an example. If yeah. he'd married a Somali woman who from the clan of uh, Isaac, yeah. And uh, 60 years down the line, his great, 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 great grandson was the one who walked into that place and they asked him, what is your name? And he gave them a name which did not have a tribal name. Yeah, yeah but the fact that a Somali girl married outside her culture, mm -hmm. or Isaki, whoever she is, yeah. she will be, even me as a guy, yeah. if I'm married outside the culture, I'm, I'm close we'll to her. My, my family might be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I might be on the verge of being rejected in the family. I see, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's, a very, that's a lot of the problem with the world. That, that stuff is, man. Just but I love not, that shit, not, man. That, not that, that's, mixing that, that, with people, that's man. That's good. No, it's not no, good. because I'm not going to condemn the Somalis. If, you, if you're like, if, no, you I want to be, no, wait, wait. I want to be, I want to be sure on this. I'm not condemning the Somalis for thinking like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do that and, and keep your own thing, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's bad or anything. It's not good for relations, though, is it? It's not, I don't know. It's just not. You don't see but what you don't understand is, you see, the, the word Somali comes from Somali, and Somali has, comes with two syllables, which is Sama, Ale. So Sama means goodness, Ale is to have one, someone who has goodness. That was one of the names of our ancestors. Oh. And when you look through the Somali people, even historians, when they came to Somalia, people will fight over you so you can be their guest. Look, as a guest, if you come into the country, you get all the love you want. But you know what? Don't get into the culture. Fair enough. Yeah. Don't dig into it. You know I mean? yeah. Just keep your hands off. Of, that's that's what it is. sounds like a lot of places. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of places. Don't, get, when you go there, don't be chatting about the. What, don't be talking about certain things in history. Don't be talking about your opinions. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> and just and just enjoy. Now you can and speak be humble. about. Now you can speak about history. You can speak about this. But I tell you why. I tell you why I, I don't like the mixing thing in Somalia. I don't want people to mix or people to come in my country and start mixing with the Somali people. And the reason why that is. The more people you have mixing with your people, yeah. so it's like get a, get a glass of water, add, keep adding water to it. What happens? It stays the same. No, you got a glass. If of you add water to water. No, no, glass of milk. Oh, milk. Keep adding oh, yeah, water. Okay, okay. As long as yeah. the water's it, pouring it changes. down, it, it dissolves. But that's human history, though. But it dissolves. That's human. That's human history. Exactly. Human history is milk, coffee, chocolate, all these things mixing. Melting everywhere. Well, you know, like Somalis, Somalis are a creation, a mix of some other people thousands of years before. We're, we're 200 and something thousand years old as a species. Yeah, but we are at least Shetty people. Yeah, that's a modern term. No, that's not, a mo it's not that didn't term. exist 100,000 years I ago. I think it did. I'll tell you why. Really? I'll tell you why it did. Okay. I'll tell you why it did. Yeah? You see, um, Egypt, right, was known as uh, uh, the land Kemet. of. Uh, Kemet. Uh, uh, yeah, Kemet. Uh, was known as Kemet. <laughs> Right? That, that's oh, a modern term. Yeah, that's a modern term. Yeah, no, no, it is. Kemet is not a modern term. The, the word uh, Kemet, Ka, Met is modern. No, no, modern. listen. Just because you put, just because you, you know what he's doing. Asking dates. Just because you add your Somali accent to it no, doesn't it's, make it's, it's original. Somali. Yeah, it's not Somali. <laughs> I'm talking about the original term. Okay. You see, I was. But doing you it. don't know what the term was a hundred thousand years I'm ago. I'm telling Dan. you. I'm telling you. Let me just finish. You see, there was a like. Let's just say a thousand years from now. Right, a thousand years, two thousand years from now, right? Yep. There were Bibles that were written, right, in the Latin version, right? And the, the name uh, Hamet was spelled as C H A M, right? Yep. And that spells Ham. Yep. You understand? So the word Ham, yeah. right, it's not an English version. However, the word Ham or Kam, which is through the Kam, it's an, that's, that's an invention, that's, that's something new. Okay. But the word ham, which comes from ham, 
it's the same thing because Han was named for example look, you've got the Ottoman Empire mm -hmm. why was a whole empire called Ottoman because there was a family by the name of Ottomans ruling the empire no it was a guy called Usman yeah Usman but that's what Usman. Ottoman same yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same thing so, so really Usman people example, change yeah, see, see the way I'm saying it yeah. Usman, yeah. Usman yeah. That's, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced yeah. but then yeah. you have English people saying Ottoman sure sure you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah. but Usman is the king so the whole empire was named after him mm -hmm. same thing with Ham or Ham, the land of Hamites. Sounds like you're making or, my point for me, though. Yeah, the land of <laughs> what was it? The land of Hamites. The reason why they were called the land of uh, 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 Hamites or Hamites is because the people that lived there were the people of Ham. Oh and, man, and, you. And, and, I, 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 and, I can deal with that. And, but you're and, still making my point. For yeah, me. But, but, I'll come back to your point. I don't know what that is, but I'll come back to <laughs> it. <laughs> I'll come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> now Ham. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, within, within, within that. Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, Ottomans in no, or no. the chain within, the... within that lineage, yeah. then you had, you know, the uh, Hush. And, and the word Hocha with the Kha. Hush means, you know, uh, 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 what was it? Is it good? something to do with, um, uh, I think it was a warrior, fighter, something. I don't know. But it had a meaning. I do apologize to the people. I don't like speaking about something I don't know. But Hush, right? That's where it comes from. It's not Kush. It's not Kushetic, yeah. it's Hosh. Hosh. That's, Hosh. Hosh. That's what the originally, that was exactly. the original thing. Exactly. Alright, I like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, I lost my train of thought. And then it changed to Kosh. You was t I think you're talking about... Well, my point is, yeah. how, do, how do you know? My point is, everybody has to... Uh, homogeny can't exist, can't, can only go on for so long. It's like the children, it's like the Garden of Eden type mm. situation. They had to go outside to marry other people, otherwise it's incestual. And it becomes a problem. They even they, some people what, even no, no. say. What do you? What, what do you? Okay. It depends what your definition of uh, ancestral is. Incest is where you. Okay. You, 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 my understanding is that you need to widen the gene pool in order for survival to be able to take place. No, no, no. Do you think for me incest is laying with incest your incest in this culture? It's laying with your brother or your sister or something, or or your cousin. Some people say because of, that's a big thing in Pakistan. Yeah, though, isn't but it? the thing with Somali so, culture or the Kushetic culture, African culture, yeah. cousin with cousin, yeah. it's okay. It's even fine, Arabs, yeah. even Indians, yeah, right? It's it's it's, 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 it's a culture. Right. I'm not I'm not I'm supposed to call it ashamed of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So basically, but we're talking genetics now. Now, over. now, now, now let's speak about genetics. You see, Somalia. Right, the Somali people carry two genetic codes. Oh, I said this earlier. The oh, T1, the T1, one sick, one sick, one sick. The E1, B1. Yeah. Right, the T1 yeah. is actually uh, 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 um, the progenitor of. Uh, when you go to India, you will find it. When you go to Arabia, you will find it. Okay. But when you come to Somalia, that's where the darkest is. That's where it came from. As the further you go from Somalia, the lighter it gets. Right, and then you've got um, also in Mesopotamia they, the, the T1. Uh, came from Mesopotamia. So what right. you on about Iraq there and the Syria Yeah, yeah, so originally, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, then, and then you've got the E3B, the one that he's laughing about, yeah? That's a famous one, everyone knows in the park, right? E3B, yeah. like Somalis carry E99% to 95%, some people say uh, 80 but I think it's 95% of the... The reason why it's 80 because there are Somali Arabs, and, you know, Bantu Somalis that live there. But 80% of the Somali, ethnic Somalis carry the E3B. And the point being, eight, yeah. and the point being, because they carry the same paternal lineage, it shows how also called how strictly uh, homogeneous this ethnic group is. No, I, I'm agreeing with you. Let me ask you a question. So then. basically, the idea of like you know we've mixed or people are mixing, yeah. it, not it does not, that. it does not, it does not apply much to the Somali yeah, people. You have to have uh, uh, mixed no matter what. Because what also, you say, also, you, also, also the people that carry the same genetics as us. Are the Berbers? You know, the Berbers you're saying okay. they're not Africans. Okay. They carry uh, they carry about the seven percent. The blue what, what? The blonde-haired, blue-eyed ones. <laughs> Whether they're blonde, you, when you go to, for example, Morocco in Morocco, they're yeah. about forty percent of E3B. Like, wait, know, wait, 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 wait. You know, so you're saying, so wait, I ain't part of your bloodline because I'm Bantu, but some blonde-haired, red-haired, blue-eyed Berber is part of your <laughs> blood. Sounds like he rizzle like that. Sounds sound like he rizzle like that. <laughs> well, well, all I want to ask was, what's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> Check it. Just, just, that's a bomb. But um, what's the problem with um, with with mixing? What's the problem with yeah, mixing? Is, is it just like a traditional because thing? No, you don't like doing no, the it. Traditional or is there thing, actually a problem with it? No, the problem with it is you lose culture, you lose tradition. You lose your history. You lose who you are. So if you stick and you, if cultures come in and they assimilate properly and keep with the culture, are you fine with that? Even though it's a different genetic gene pool. Look, listen. But to keep the, the genes, no, or is no. it a racial? It's still, thing? let's just say they're still claiming Somali, right? They're saying mm -hmm. they're Somali, 
they're saying all of that. They have everything. They got like, on everything, right? However, the people, because this is the same. These people grew. They became huge, now big. All of a sudden, they're overpowered now. They're in power now, for example. And now what you have is a group of people who are not originally Somali, but they're saying they're Somali, but they've got nothing to do with Somali. So at this time, at this time, <coughs> the name Somali yeah. becomes a nation. It does not become an ethnic. Okay, ethnicity, yeah? Yeah, because you lose ethnicity. So you're saying it's a problem, even though these people will be culturally Somali. Yeah, but They won't be genetically. It seems like it's born in that genetics, not really the culture. It's like what he was talking about, he yeah, wanted to genetic. do light-skinned girls yeah. because they talk better Arabic, but the logic didn't make any sense. Your logic doesn't need to make, seem to make any sense now. Because your answer was, you want them to be culturally Somali. No, no, no. Culturally, genetically, oh, they was, ethnically. Well, this is what I'm trying to say. So, you just, so okay, so what's the problem with them not, not being that way? What's the problem? Yeah. There's no what, what, problem what, what, with it. But as a Somali, I'm, I'm not talking about. I'm not just your opinion. Somali, just your my opinion. opinion isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But as a Somali, yeah, I think that if we stick to who we are and keep this culture and this what's it called the, the, this homogeneous, yeah. then later on, if we become big, let's say Somali becomes great, then you people will be like the Somali, and when people say the Somalis, they're not talking about a nation only. They're talking about an ethnic. They're talking about the only ethnic people. In Africa, one ethnicity took over the whole world. Like, come on, man. So What's that word? <laughs> What's that? No, that sounds like just, some grand Just, mass, just to put it, like James Bond movie. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put a disclaimer because just in case people get offended, because we've been using the word Berber, because I know they use another word, Amazi or Am Amazi. Amazi. Okay, so. Or Torek. Yeah, just so people right. don't get offended. Berber okay. is like it's like saying, for example, you got Somali, right? And then within Somali, you've got Darod and Isaac and Hawiyah. Yeah. So the same thing with the Berber. The Berber is their ethnic name. And then you've got Amazigh on that, then you've got Toreg on the side, then you've got Darod guys on the side, you know? So, yeah. Fair enough. But yeah, it's deep, man. At the end of the day, I'm Somali, right? And I don't want to mix. I, I don't want to, I want to stay. <clears throat> and this is why people... I'm just not look. used to hearing that from people who as dark as me. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's... Is I, that true? <laughs> I'm used to, no, his, most famously you're used to hearing it from like white people. Oh. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. That's most famously. But that's not to say that other people don't do that because Indians do that. You know, uh, you know the crazy thing? He was in a video COE recorded a couple of weeks ago and he was talking, being eloquent, giving his opinion. Someone left a comment in there saying, yeah, that Sri Lankan guy saying a lot of good stuff. <laughs> no, 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 that, the video, when were you talking about the video yeah, of the gin? Yeah. Guys in that were saying the Sri Lankan guy, yeah, the Bangladeshi I guy. I read so it, when yeah. you when you come out and said that, I thought, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. I, I assumed you were Somali. I don't yeah. know why. I know, exactly. Maybe yeah. because I've seen you it's, in it's, it's the look, no, it's the look. I might have seen you talking about Somali. No, I'm telling well. you this, no, no, it's not, it's not only that. When you, see a, when you see a Somali walking, whether he's dark, white, whatever it is, yeah. you would clearly know he's Somali. There's something about Yeah, but they didn't. Who? The, the people he's talking yeah. about and the people I'm talking yeah. about in yeah. the comments. But you know why though? Because the lights are too light and I looked a bit yellow as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit yellow. Yeah, yeah. No, and my hair no, looked too dark. It's just because some people don't know, they're not educated. They some don't people know. Don't, yeah. Some people don't even never heard of Somalia. True. Do you know what I'm saying? True, true, true. Uh, Until maybe Captain Jack or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, no, it's true, man. Some some people really don't know. Yeah, but when you said uh, no black man, has, uh, no a person, I don't think because I don't consider myself to be black. I don't know. I don't know if you've seen one of my videos. What, what, what are you? I'm not, I'm well, not black. I can, I can go with that as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Black. Don't tell me. Black, black is a state. You're black. You're no, black. But we're I'm not. not what are you? Wait, I, whoa. I, I whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, come I was, was going to say we're all not black or we all are black. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we're not. Okay, I'm black. What do you mean by black? Wait, wait, wait. I'm black if you're including every human being who has dark skin. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Yeah, I'm black too. But I'm not How black. How are you not black? I'm not black <laughs> if yeah. you're saying, like, you know, only including two, the people known as black in the media. No, but that's known as, it's just, that's You know what I mean? The, 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 you know. Yeah, uh, that's the colloquialism, yeah, though. You know? It don't make no sense. Because I know what you're saying. Jamaicans, Americans, yeah, Bantus, yeah, yeah, that kind of uh, uh, Afro, well, certain Africans, yeah, because you're saying there's certain Africans who, like yourself, I'm, uh, not considering yourself as black. I'm not black. These I'm ascetic. Because if we're talking about race, political. If we're talking about race as Black's black, not a race though, I know, no, but, it's but, that's, but that's but that's how they like to make it appear. So if you're speaking yeah. about black as a race, I'm not part of your race. <laughs> I am a Kushetic, I'm part of the Kushetic race because I have a, a, a bunch of people who look exactly like me 
out there who are like millions of them, not yeah, yeah, yeah. saying out there. So, so just that, like the show and, that, and South that's uh, Africa, and that's the and that's the definition of being race. The definition of a race is you know uh, being part of a group or a mass of people who look like each other. You, know you would have been all right in um, 1950s America. Ah, <laughs> with the with the with the non-race mixing yeah. kind of thing. It's a similar kind of thing though, but but I'm assuming you wouldn't yeah. kill for that shit like they did. What do you mean? Well, they had policies out there, oh, they're segregationals, and then they, they made it illegal from 1680, I think it was, the uh, so-called ethnicities weren't supposed to mix. Well, I'm not going to lie, some people are extreme about it. Yeah, some people are extreme. As long as, listen, you're, like you said, you're all right with him saying yeah, yeah. those kind of things. As That's long as you don't kill people for that shit. As long as, when you see a Somali girl with a white dude or something, no, 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 or him with a Somali. We had uh, oh, Somali we partners. I'm gonna cut you guys in the alleyway. Because, uh, <laughs> 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 Girl, the women like, Ethiopia, Djibouti, mm. Somalia, the women are beautiful, man. Mm. And I still see it as like, well, I'm marrying African. It's African marrying African. Yeah. So yeah. I'm happy with that. The term, African, the term with African, I'm all right with it. I, I literally speak about African. I would say he's yeah, my African. I'm seeing you but the I don't like, I don't like we're the, the same. We're not the same. Yeah, we're not the same. I agree with that. But I'm seeing it as, I, I'm still marrying my people, even though I get where you come from. It's not my people. This, this is the interesting thing. What's, what's that? My people. <laughs> well, coming from my experience in the West, yeah. my people. So I'm told. So I've been. So I've been raised to think is other people that look like me, okay. over Africans. How about this? Isn't how, it? Well, no, That's where we're told. No, no, no. To how about this? How about this? Because even. I just listened. Oh, okay. I, thought, I, thought, okay, what's <laughs> I thought you literally killed a bear or something. You know? but, well, um, uh, what's it called in the Western world, right? For yeah. example, when you look at you've got you've got Eastern European, Southern yeah. Europeans, yeah. Yeah. but you won't hear the British people saying those are my people. Uh, they won't. They, why? Why well, not? Why not? I don't. I, I mean, they got they got light skin, they're Caucasians, they're yeah. everything, blue eyes, but. They, they well, won't technically, say those technically, they, 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 they probably nah, would. No, nah, they, they are a minority in the UK. Nah. They were minority. And, and, yeah, they, they, also, they're not the same. They're they're not, and, and I agree. They're, they're not, not the same. same yeah. But I don't think I don't think the English. But you can't say them. But out the way. Sorry, who are they and we or what? <laughs> well, this, 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 what are we trying to say? I'm trying to say the. Um, well, let's start with what he's trying to say. No, no. Who are they? We are all human beings. Oh, see, this is what well, I was trying. We, I walk, I you're going with bourbon now. Yeah. yeah, I walk in the same ground and I breathe same air. I yeah. wish you good luck and have a great night and be safe, gents. You, you know don't what? Complain about nothing because it's life true. can it's keep true. you. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. You know yeah. what? He's reminding me of a great question. No, no. He, he doesn't count. Yeah. You know, he doesn't count. You know why he doesn't count? Because he's in an interracial yeah. relationship. But let me ask. Let me ask. Let, hold on. Let me ask this. Yeah, you clocked that from day one. <laughs> Listen. Let me ask you a great question. Then I think this is a great question. Yeah. Who's more different? You and a Polish man, or you, a Somali man and a Somali woman? Who's more different? More yeah. different. What? I mean exactly what I just said. Right. Who's, Who's more, more different? Me and you and another. Woman. You and a man of a different race. Okay. Or you and a woman of the same race. Who's more different? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. I think it's an excellent well, question. Well, the white man is more different. <laughs> yeah. The white man is more different. Even though that you have the same body parts. What, what, what do you mean body parts? You both have the same genitals, penis. No, nah, no. Nah, but you didn't listen to what he, you didn't listen to what he said 15 minutes ago when oh. he began to talk about the E3. E. Yeah. So yeah. there's the genetic code. That's fine, but there's so also a genetic code that gives us the same body parts. Yeah, but not... No. <laughs> At the same levels of t testosterone. It's just a philosophical question. It's not based on anything we said. It's just actually, what he, based on what he's just brought in, which is we're all human beings. Yeah. Right? We're all homo sapiens sapiens, yep. which he's got a, he's a valid point. Yeah, it is. He's absolutely right. Yes. Right? You don't deny that, do you? Even though you're saying Somalis are different. And, or just, we're all still homo we're sapiens sapiens. Sapien. But we're not the Some same tribe. Mixed. We're not the same culture. We're right. not the same genetics. That's but are these things man-made? I mean, we have different no, variants. No, no, what he said is that my people. Now, now let me use your analogy. 
Yeah. Which one? About, the, 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 yeah, exactly. That question. Yeah, that same question. Well, answer it first. Oh no, you did. Yeah. You says you and the woman uh, are more the same yeah, yeah, yeah. than you and another guy. And the yeah. other guy. Even though your body parts are more. Yeah. Forget okay. about the body parts. Okay. Genetics <laughs> and race. No, I'm talking about yeah. everything. The, your, your, your genes determine what sex you are as well, yeah, right? Yeah, but you know, we're talking about. Uh, uh, tell him what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I know what you're saying, and I don't disagree with it. But I'm also listening from what he was talking when he was very specific in giving us the genetic code, the bloodline, the yeah. E3 thing. And then he spoke about the tribe, yeah. which ties in with the culture. Yeah. So it's all well and good saying that he is the same as a white guy in Russia. They've got the same arms, hands and everything, yeah. but they're not the same blood and they ain't the same. Agreed. For example, Agreed. It's just a philosophical no, question. No, oh, right, right. That's what it is. No, right, it's yeah. like a chicken and the egg kind of thing, even though there's an answer. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a more of an answer to the chicken and egg than I think that. I don't know what the answer is. What's the answer the to the chicken and the egg? Um, it's, ah. the, it's the chicken. So hold on, yes, yeah, it's the. It's the <laughs> hold on. Cell, how does the cell get formed? How does the cell get formed? It's the, it's the. Which came first? Yeah. It's the. <laughs> yeah, yes. No, wait. Hold on, because I've already answered this question. No, it's no, the, the answer. Oh, let me tell you the answer. It's a different way, though. I can ask it's the, it's a different way. It's the chicken. I, I think because before the kitchen came, uh, the kitchen. <laughs> before I, like, the I always, chicken. I always, <laughs> the kitchen was the cooker. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now the chicken came first because uh, it's it's the first of its species. Yeah. So then that species, where once so once if you're a particular species and you give birth to something, that is the first thing. Well, that would make it. Well, where, but where where did the kitchen? Where, where, <laughs> where did the, the kitchen? chicken? Where did the chicken come from? <laughs> where did the chicken come from? Yeah. The first chicken. Where did it come from? Well, it's a mutation. It's all about mutation. Yeah, but what, so, what did it so, mutate from? What did huh? the first mutation? It mutated from a different species, technically. But where? Okay, the first from a chicken, different species. The first chicken, when it was first starting to mutate, what did he start from? Well, the there is no. The, well, the point, the start. Technically, it's supposed to be a mutation. If you have a genetic mutation, like if I have a, a white child, then that child is different to me. Therefore, where did where did that's like saying where did the albino come from? Which came first? That would be no child or, 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 the, or the parent. No, it's not the same. It's the same thing because you're talking about you're talking about um, um, genetic variation or you're talking about genetic mutation. The chicken, the very first chicken, would have come from something that didn't even. If, if, if you're gonna go by, because um, I think what you're saying is. Well, let's come back. Let's come back to our. our <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> let's come back to our case. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what you question. so you do agree with him that, that that the two people even though they're from planet Earth they're Homo sapien sapien yeah. they're still different. They have different groups. Yeah, they have different yeah. genetic so, codes. But the thing I is this, with that. What I was trying to tell you is that because like, you are my African brother, right? as an African, and if I saw if I saw that there were people attacking you, right, let it be my people or someone else, yeah. Yeah. I would be on your side because you're my African okay. brother. But when it comes to as people, as ethnicity, we're not the same people. Because Africa is a massive continent. If the white people who have little who have just little countries, yeah, see themselves as different people, separate people, or let's say or other or even the Chinese, then you got the Mongolians who are massive people, yeah. you've got the Chinese who are smaller, you've got, you know, the Indians, right? These people live in Asia. However, they come in what? Different shades and colours and different yeah. looks. So we can't say that we can't say the Indian, even though they come from Asia, you can't say the Indian, an Indian cannot say the Chinese are my people, because we live in Asia. Do you I know what you. I mean? Because Africa is more bigger than Asia anyways. Right? I Technically hear speaking. You. So now you are my African, we come from the same yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like just like a European will be like, or oh, you are my European. You know? Just like and you would do that, the that same that thing. Dude is your is your human brother, right? I don't know when people use this human thing. Like, come on, man. We no, are, we are he, human. Is he your homo sapien sapien brother? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not claiming a white person right now. Well, uh, well, then we would. Well, well, that. Prophet on the Adam religious. Oh, that's oh, that's a great point. Mm. No, that, but that's the point I'm making. But that, on the God, yeah. what are you saying on the Adam? We all come from Adam. We all come from Adam. So, do you, do you believe in that? <laughs> well, it's, it's not a question to me. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, but I think Adam's metaphorical for the science. How about that? 
Uh, you can't say that. Yes, I can. Because science and Adam yes, can't, I can. they don't come together, man. Yes, they no, do. You, you know where you could have caught him out? You know where you could have caught him out? Yeah. Go on. He doesn't see that white European as his brother, but he sees the white Berber as his brother. Well, it's just kind of the same thing, really. No, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, tell you why, I tell you why I see a Berber closer, closer to me than that guy. Because mm. a Berber... Mater oh, oh, a blonde and blue-eyed no, no, no. Berber. Mm. Look at this. A Berber paternally, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm talking about, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. The majority of the Berbers, yeah. paternally, mm -hmm. they are African. They got the African genetic. How do you know it's paternally and not mater maternal? Because we're following the E3B again. You so understand? you've done tests on, okay, no. Yeah, I've done a out. research right. on, you know, the tests that have been done. And those genes show Africa. which side of the... Should I show it to you now? You show me yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm just, I'm not even questioning. Well, I am. I'm, ask, I'm actually asking because I've never heard it. So you, you can tell. So the E3B, the E3B, it has its origin comes from East Africa. And and it's only from the father's side that it can come? Huh? It can, can it only come from the father's side? Or can this E3B be no, from the maternal side as well? Orig, uh, no, E3B, it, uh, basically, if it's coming from the, because you know, the paternal. But I'm saying, can it come from the mother as well as the father? No. Okay, so I assumed it could. So I, Whoa. I, that's something I didn't know about. It can't come from the mother. I think it, yeah, it can, it can. Yeah, so there's it's, no... It's, yeah, it's 25, 25, right. sorry, so, sorry, now sorry, sorry. so now the point is, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Which is... <laughs> but, okay, I'll, talking, yeah, so, I'll, tell you, right? I'll tell you what I'm talking about, yeah? You see, um, when, we, when we're doing this, yeah, it, uh, every time we look at the maternal uh, ancestry, we're not looking at the mother's side. Because the mother's side always changes. For example, let's say, let's say your mother was E3B, right? right. But then... Uh, let's just say uh, your mother, but then you have your mother's mother, right? Because your mother's mother, your mother's mother was uh, uh, a white man, <laughs> for example. <laughs> right? Ah, but it's disrespecting me, like I don't love. No, no, no. Sorry. Let's just, let's just, I'm giving you analogies. I'm just, uh, let's just, shit. Let's just say, so my mother's mother was a white dude. No, no. Your mother's mother married a white dude. That's what I'm trying okay, to say. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. Oh, right, right, Let's right. say your mother's Whoa. mother yeah. married a white so dude. So my grandma. Your grandma married, married a white, a white dude. dude. Yeah, yeah, married a white dude. But then she gave birth to your mother. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then your mother, right, had, because uh, we're following the lineage, right? Yeah. So basically, your mother yep. married your uh, father. black guy, yeah. Your father. Yep. Right? And your father, you had a sister now. Yep. Yeah. Now your sister carries whose genes? My sister, I would have thought, carries both of them. It we, 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 we carries both, yeah. and then you have, let's just say, the R1, and then you've got the E, because you guys are also under E, E3B, right? So don't we both have the genes of our parents? Yeah, but you do both have, you got R1, and then you've got E3B, right, from the father's side. So the mother's R1, the father's E3B. But genetically speaking, we are counting back to who? The father, paternally. It depends who you're looking for. Because because if, if you go back to the mother's side, what I'm trying to tell you, if you look into the mother's side, it yeah. keeps changing. Is that... Is that I'm, no, I'm, but I'm lost. They, they stick with the paternal. That's why he's doing oh, the paternal thing. Wait, wait, oh, oh, can't right. the guys change as well? All right, all right, no, right. no, the guys doesn't change. The guys unless, never change. Unless... Don't they, can't their parents... Be, can't a guy's parents be mixed? Is that supposed uh, to be okay, for be. example, let's say, if, if he was my father, for example, for example hmm? that means I would always come back to lineage. And whatever all my all the kids that I give birth to, whatever I marry, no, not me physically, whatever I marry, all the kids that I have yeah. would come back to our lineage. That's just, it goes, it goes straight. But I, then, don't, I don't okay. get how the women would go back to your lineage. Chief, I don't all right, get all right. it. Okay, okay, okay. Here's, here's the first thing. Here's a woman. Right? She marries a man who's our one. Right. She gives birth to kids, she gives birth to a daughter who's R1. This daughter yeah. marries a man who's what? Let's say E3B. Yeah. Alright? That daughter, right? Uh, sorry, uh, let's say she marries a son or a daughter who's E3B, right? That daughter will come back to who? Geneta, maternally speaking. The daughter will have the genes of both the, the they, mom and the she dad. She would, she would, but if we're tracing, if we're tracing the genes, right? Yeah. But more, okay. Most of the time, if, if you we, chase it through the dad, yeah. then it's going to be whoever the parents of the dad is all the way down, all the, the, line, way down right? the line, and the mom all the way down the line. Yeah. So if the dad's got mixed parentage yeah. through their generations, yeah. then you're going to see it. Yeah. I don't get why the dads would be more pure than the, than the woman. They're not more pure. I understand what you're saying. It's just they're not more pure. They're not more pure. But at the same time, what I'm trying to say it is that it seems like it's a more of a just sorry to cut you, but it seems like it's more of a tradition thing, more of a religious thing yeah. to say we Eternal. want to go with the father yeah. because that's what we think is important. I've heard that argument all day long. But when it comes to this is why I asked him about science earlier. Yeah, yeah. Because when you look at science, 
not only is it like from an equal perspective, we understand now that genetic material come chromosomes, right, come from the mother and the father. But even further than that, now we know that the mitochondrial DNA only comes from the woman. But you know, you know, it's that, easier. That equals, that's the battery power to the cell. So the most important stuff comes from the woman. <laughs> yeah, I understand, I understand. But look, <laughs> see, the, uh, what's it called? I might, I might be corrected on this because I'm not 100% sure on this, yeah? But I think, right, according, like, uh, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, that the mother's, if, if, you, keep, if, if, if you said we're going to count back to the mother's genetic uh, 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 code, yeah. then, because it won't be stationary, I think. For example, because uh, since we're counting back to the father's point of side, Right. But if we said we're gonna come back, let's say, okay, let's, let's try to come back to the mother's side. Let's see how yeah, it goes. Yeah. She's R1, right? She marries a man who's E3B. Don't example, do the R1 team. Just, just you. Let's use races or something. Right, it's right. easier to. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. no cause we want to understand the genetic. How the genetic changes. The genetics. Ba you're, you're saying the genetics is based on the race. Aren't they synonymous? So a white dude is gonna have. The, is R1. not gonna be. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So you might as well just say a white guy. Okay. To just make it simpler to simplify it rather than R1 and all this kind of stuff. No, no, no. Okay, simplify okay, 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 okay. Now you've got a, okay, you've got a black man, a black woman yeah. who married a white man. Right. And a white man has his own genetic thing. Yep. Right? And this woman will carry this white man's genes. Yep. She marries another man. So, so the, uh, sorry, the woman. So hold on. So, 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 so. You've got a man and a woman, a white, a black woman and marries a white, a white man. man. Yeah. yeah she, and then she gets they kids. Have, they have children. Let's say she got one daughter. Let's, yes. let's, 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 let's make it a daughter, right? Okay. The daughter marries another man. Wait, hold on. But what's the daughter got? Let's let's because the let's, daughter because the daughter got the uh, what's it called the white man's gene, and she got the uh, mum's genes as well. Yeah. So do I. Everyone so, does. So all right. So so the the child, whether it's a boy or girl, has got both of the genes. Go on next. Okay. Let's, so let's, that, let's, that, let's, that daughter let's, now let's, goes let's, to. Let's the go. Thing. Let's go to the mother's gene right now. Yeah. So the girl, she's got the. Mother's gene. And the dad's gene, yeah. Right, yeah. And then, and the dad's gene, right? So now, that daughter, yep. who's goes got the mother, who goes to another guy, who's Indian, that's an Indian. Indian guy, yeah. An Indian guy who carries our Indian gene, right? Yeah. So, this daughter, yep. right, who grew up eventually and married an Indian guy, whose yep. gene does he carry? Whose gene does he carry? That, that she carries, sorry. She carries the one from the white man and the black woman. Okay. She's carrying both of them. Okay. Now she's gonna so the, and now she's gonna mix with this Indian, Indian. guy. So now their now children. She had a daughter. Again. Daughter. Yeah. So now we wh a daughter. whatever child it is, yeah. that child is now gonna have fifty percent chromosomes that are black and white, okay. and fifty percent chromosomes that are Indian. That's my assumption. Okay. Let's let's, yeah, let's that's that's that that sound. We can't we can't use no, we can't use black and white. We can't use color though. You have to use a genetic code. But it's just, it's the same thing but because do, you're... But do you understand what I'm trying to because say? Because the though? colours or the ethnicities are associated with the genetic code. But you right? can't say black and white though, that's the thing. It's just simplifying it for the... But, for, but, you, but you see how it's getting though. You can't say she got... You can't, like, for example... All right, use, it has to use be your codes then. Okay. Use your codes, it's going to come back to the same thing. No, 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 okay, okay, listen. Now, let's say uh, let's, the mother of the daughter who married the Indian girl, Yeah. right, she carried... The white man's gene. Okay, you so you're saying the, R, R, the R1. R1. Yeah, R1. Now, this daughter who has the R1, because we're counting back to you. And wait, don't she have a dad as well? She has a dad's B. So we have an R and a B, yeah? Now, okay, uh, because she was the. Oh, come on, because we got confused right now. No, the R and the B, that's why I said don't use this stuff. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, not. I'm following it more than you are. Okay, so, yeah. so the dad's the R. And the, and, and the, the mum's the B, B, and they have a, a, daughter, a daughter, and that daughter now has R and B. R and B. Yeah, like the music, yeah? Yeah. So it has R and B, and, B, <laughs> yeah. and then, the in, and then she, this R and B girl yeah. gets into Indian music. Mm -hmm. And so now the chromosomes of their child mm -hmm. is 50% Bangra and 50% R, R and B. Yeah, wait, wait. Let's, let's not get there, because okay, let's come back to R and B. Now you've got R and B in one girl. Yeah. But now, let, because we're trying to, what we're trying to do is to follow the mother's lineage. Okay. So I'm trying to show you how difficult it will be to track whether this culture is homogeneous or not on, on the mother's side. Right. Now, so 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 she, so this girl, whatever the, the R and B, they had a what a daughter who's both 50 R and B, right? But now let's let's put the dad side as, uh, on, on the one side. Let's try to use the mother's lineage. Just the mother's code, right? right? So this mother, she had a daughter right. who carries what? Her gene, 50%, or well, right. 25%, right? right? She carries 25% of her gene. This daughter marries a what? An Indian guy. And that Indian guy 
mixed up with both. Who's 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 Jean has it got? She's got both the Indian and the mother who's still beat. You understand? So basically, it's easy to track uh, uh, the father's uh, point of lineage because at the end of the day, the girls. If it's a girl, if 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 you if you as a man, I cannot keep counting back to my mother because if I say okay, I'm gonna come back to my mother, all the lineages on my mother's side, it will only be females. That's the whole point. I never said I'm going That's back. how you do ancestral DNA tests, right? Yeah, yeah. I can trace my mum, my mum's side and my dad's side. Yeah, but you only get to where two, they come from. You only get two roots. So you ever come back to your mum's yeah. side all the way down? Yes. Yeah, so the question is, why do you choose one? Right. And then you, or you ever go to your dad's side all the way down? Yeah. So why do you choose one? That's the question. I think it's because they try, try. I think it's to do the tribe, the tribalistic stuff. But nah. But the question you need to ask. No, no. The question you need to ask is why do scientists do that? Why do scientists track both? No. Nah, why? Why do scientists? track the paternal lineage they don't they track well do. I, I, I don't know I, they, I, don't, they, they I, do. I know that I know that the maternal lineage and the paternal lineage show do show different there's certain things that you can see through them I don't understand what they are at this point in time so I can't talk about it yet. And it, and it seems like you might not know either. I don't know yeah, if anyone know. knows. I, know. I think so, it's just a traditional patriarchal thing to do it. That's what I'm saying because science ultimately this is one thing I do know which is um, unless you're talking about it, look, look, if your dad, through your dad's side, has stayed the same ethnicity for a while and the mum hasn't, then I'd understand why you'd go through one and not the other, or why you prefer to. And, but it's the same thing if, the, if your dad was messing about, and I'm, yeah, if your dad was um, interracial and your mum's lineage was straight Somalian, then it would have been more, more beneficial to you to go through your mum's. It could have been the guys that were, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> this is my assumption. It's my assumption, I could be wrong, but I just see it as, when they do DNA tests, ancestral DNA tests, you can go for your grandparents, I mean, you can go for your grandparents, you can go for your, the female side, your mum's side, or you can go for your dad's side. And they tell you both sides <coughs> yeah. to get to where you are today. So you're the, the product of both of these haplogroups, they're going to haplogroups, don't they? Which is where the R1 and the B1, that's, that's all haplogroups, right? <coughs> So you work it out from that. It'd be, it'd be great if we could, uh, if we had the DNA test done there, and we could see, and it turns out half is Bantu and <laughs> and half is blonde, blue-eyed, yeah. Neanderthal. Yeah, nah, yeah. if, if, if I if I had a DNA test, I'll probably come out ninety percent Sri Lankan. No, no, no. Ninety percent Sub-Saharan. Sub-Saharan. Oh, Sub-Saharan. Ninety yeah. percent. You say ninety percent. Yeah. So you say you are mixed. No, no. Sub-Saharan. We're the same people though. Sudan, yeah, so, Nubia, so, okay. Uh, Berber. You know. Here's the problem that I think he was alluding to earlier though. Humans apparently all come from one spot, which is basically where you're from, right? East Africa. That means everybody comes from there. So <coughs> ultimately, all hapro groups. Not everybody though. I'm assuming come not from. Everybody. Not everybody. He just he said not everyone. No. Yeah, so if, who, if, who if, if, if that's everybody, then there was a, cause then we're all Somali. No, 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 we're not. Because at the end of the day, at some point, Right, um, uh, uh, the, the the Horn of Africa was occupied by the Khoisans, right? If they were the original people, um, which some say they they were, they can't. I don't, I don't know because they were hunter gatherers, no, right? They were. I think they were the last hunter gatherers. They still are, right? They still are the living hunter gatherers. There's a few hunter gatherers, but yeah. but their culture's got nothing to do with the Haplo group. Yeah, the but, Haplo group is the Haplo. But, group. but you know the the the, the Khoisan people. They have their their own genetic code that's different to every African, and yeah. they look different. And this is when I say like, like Africa is just so big for yeah. everybody to assume that. We but they all came group. from one group. Is the point? Whether it's scientifically, this is why I said it doesn't matter about the Adam thing, because Adam is just a metaphor for the science. Yeah. Right. Adam is saying that everyone came from a from a what a man and a woman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She didn't come from no rib. It was a man and a woman. <clears throat> and that's where everybody came from. Yeah. Science is saying the same kind of thing, but it's more of a chicken and egg situation. They would have come from, they would have evolved from a different species. Mm. But you know, you know, earlier when we were talking about the mother thing, yeah, the reason why I would say we can't come back to the mother side is because at some part, at some, because if, if we can imagine how many on, on your on your uh, uh, paternal side, how many wives from different cultures did your dad marry? For example. Okay. Right? So, but then, but then, your dad is still your dad. But why would you be concerned about your dad's other wives and their children? That's not you. No, for You're, example. You just okay, got to go example, through his dad no, for example, and his mom. For example, my dad had me, right? And I married a wife. That's, for example, he married an Arab wife, for example. And then I marry 
uh, a, a, a Nigerian girl, right? You see the difference between the, I wasn't called uh, uh, the lineage. The ethnicities. ethnicities. Yeah. But yeah. however, I'll, if, you, if you follow the paternal side of my of me, my dad will still be my dad. Uh, you, you know, so like, your dad's that, always going to be your dad no matter yeah, what yeah, situation I'm, I'm, it's I'm in. Talking about, I'm talking about the lineage. Like it will stay, it, it will stay as one, like it's easy to track. Don't understand what you're saying. Oh, man. Don't understand what you're saying. Your dad's always going to be your dad. Okay. No matter what ethnicity okay. they... Okay. okay, you've got my dad. And then you had me. Because my dad, let's say I, I was from, uh, 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 I don't know, uh, a Nigerian girl. My dad married a Nigerian woman, yeah, he yeah, had yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Right? When he had me, I grew up and I married some girl from Kenya. Right? Yeah. Now, my kids will come back to who? Me. Yeah, no, yeah. Your, <coughs> your, D, your DNA will be in your kids. Yeah. A but along, also, with, along with your also Kenyan you, wife. But also what you need to understand is that my, my kids have a grandmother. Yeah. But, uh, but and a my, grandfather. Yeah, but their, what's it called? their grandmother is not the same genes as their mother. The grandmother has not got the same genes. As their mother. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, it's, so for example, yeah, if it's if it's the grandmother on your on your side, yeah, then it's not the same genes as the mother. Oh, exactly, Agreed. and they, you know what I'm saying. And then, what's that got to do with anything? What's that got to do with each other? Is that because you've got? Uh, how can I? See, I'm not good at it. It's English is my third language, so I'm like, respect. I'm not, I'm not good at it. You can speak three languages. Yeah, yeah. So because most people they can't. Yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that you've got the mother. So it's even, okay. It's harder to track. For example, okay. Now let's say if I was to track, uh, my dad married a Nigerian, I married a Kenyan. Now let's see, from my kids, if we wanted to track the paternal lineage or maternal lineage, which one would be easier to confirm where I come from? <laughs> Homogeneously, which one would be easier to say that, okay, this person comes from this father and this, for example, if we say they're gonna come well, why do you keep on saying this the, father? Because you come from the woman as well. well this is I my do, point. I do, I come from my mother as well. Mm. Right, but pri okay. Prior to my mother, right, my mother, right, there was also, you know, she had the mum and dad as well. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so that's where she will come from, and then they will come from their mums and dads, and they will come from. This is why yeah. we're all supposed to be related. Uh, how about how about I explain this in tribal way? <laughs> tribe. That's easier. Go for it. If we understand, I thought you already was. No, <laughs> tribe, tribe. No, it's not tribal. Now I'm gonna make it tribal. So really? You understand okay. Easy. All right. Okay. Look. Um, let's just say I am Isa. Right, I am Isa, and my mom is Marihan. Right. Yeah. So my mom. Why are you different tribe to your mom? It always happens. It's all right. It, it, it happens. For example. Okay. But in, so in, your in, mom. In real time. Went into a different in, in, tribe. In reality, in reality, my mom and my daughter are not, are not the same clan. In real, so in real life, in you real and your mom are different clans. My so mom, she integrated into your dad, dad's clan. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So in real life, my mom and my dad are different clans. So. Now let's say my mom is I am Isaac and my mom is Marihan. Right. But, right? Now, my mom's mother will not be Marihan either. Of course not. My mom's mom will be a different, different tribe. tribe. Different Absolutely. tribe, different tribe. Absolutely. Why? Because they based it on a patriarchal lineage, so it was biased. How? It's because it focused on the guy and not the both of them. But what you, you are you are basically, technically, even though you can't use genetics for a tribe because that's a culture. You are base, basically a product of both tribes. Mm. Deny that. I am. Right. It's the so same with me in so my, my country, the tribe okay. I'm now, a part now, of. I'm part of two, I'm Yoruba. Both my parents are Yoruba, but from the different clans. Yeah. My mother's from Ileife. My father is from Abel Kuta, Egba. But I am told that I am Egba, my father. But I'm like, but my mom's from Ileife. But they go, no, you follow your father's line. So it's right. more Tradition. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm, I'm English and Jamaican. Yeah, but that, that's not how it works. That's, that's how you Should I follow roots. my dad's side to say mm. which culture I'm supposed to identify with? Or do I just identify because I want to identify? Yeah, but okay. Now, now I think that's yeah, like so old see, school. You see, you see the thing with the, with the, it's not old school actually. It's old school traditions and but, methods, yeah. man. Nah, but, I but, think but, science but, has helped us to get nah, past yeah. these nah. kind of things. Actually, what's happening to the world right now is like they're getting rid of, eth they're, getting, they're trying to get rid of ethnicity because what gives people power and a sense of belonging is ethnicity and culture. If you don't have uh, that, then anybody can come to you and convince you whatever the hell they want. Right? I don't think they're trying just, to get just, rid just, of it. Just like, you know, but coming back to the point, yeah? Now the clan name, my clan name, for example, is my is my great 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 grandfather's name. That's how that's how we say I am Darod, I am Isa. Yeah. It comes from a person's name. Yeah. You understand? Now, and this is the way this is the way it's been over history. And if it was matrilineal, 
It would have been your great 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 grandmother's, right? It would have been. Right. It would have been. So it just so happens that it would have been. In the yeah. So it, that's why it went down. So, I'm, it, so we're with you so far. Yeah. Mm. It would have been. But however, that's not the way it is. <laughs> What's not the way? <laughs> you just said it was patrilineal because it, your your culture decided it was that way. Then you just said, well, that's not the way it is. That don't make no sense. Okay. What's Wait. your name? <laughs> Bob. What's your name? Bob. Bob. Bob who? Um, um, Taylor. Why? 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 Why did they call you Bob Joanne? Is that your mother? Um, because in my culture, you take the father's yeah. because of a because of a irrational. Well, have you, I would say irrational. Have you ever seen? I would say irrational. Have you ever seen a human? I've never. I don't know if they exist, but have you ever seen a human being who says, "My name is a guy or a girl. My name is Abdul Maryam." Have I ever heard? Yeah, have Ibn I ever? Maryam. Oh yeah, Ibn Maryam. <laughs> son of Maryam. Oh yeah, son of Maryam. Right. Unless, unless he doesn't know who his father is. Yeah, but that's a cultural thing. Yeah, but that's the whole just, world, the whole world. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Though. We're not dis We're not saying that's yeah, wrong. We're, we're, we're just saying right yeah. We're, but it's we're from a you. cultural you're page. Side. You're that, but you're still your mum's side. Yeah, yeah. I am. Me. I am. But what I'm trying to explain you're part of your is mom, that man. the idea of yeah. tracing a paternal lineage is much more important, or much not important. So to not, you. Not, not important, but easier because that's the way society has been shaped. Cool, but you know, in yeah. Somalia. Yes. We are, we're with you. That's, that's your society. That's what I'm trying. Not my, the, the whole world. Well, traditionally, yes. I can ask but this guy. We, but we have I can ask anybody. To sisters. No, but wait, the reason why I'm saying is, look, I can ask any person right now. I can yeah. ask them what their surname is, yeah. and it will be a guy. It won't be a woman. Based on patriotism. Yeah. 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 But. But, I, I, I will go. Oh, wait, wait, you, he agreed with us. You yeah. said yeah. You what? said yeah. yeah. Based on patriotism, based on cultural distinction, yeah. or cultural preferences. But I mean, okay, what I'm trying to say is that every human is like that, though. Yeah, that's no, cool. Every yeah, but well, so, not, so every, that's not every. Not every. Some are matrilineal. Yeah. And I would like, even. Like who? Like who? I've never what cultures are matrilineal? Well, I know in. I've heard in Tibet they, uh, they it's polyandry as opposed to polygamy. So rather than a. Uh, in, in, in his. I need to read that. Send me that link. I want to. In Islam, yeah. we, we, they practice and not uh, only in Islam and the Judaism, world. they practice. Majority of the planet, they practice polygamy, which is a man having more than one wife. Polygamy is a man or a woman having more than one wife or husband. Okay, that's polygamy. Okay. We use that term. Okay. We don't use polygamy, but that's to be, if you want to be precise, that's what it is. Polyandry is a woman mm -hmm. who has I more think, than one yeah, husband. Yeah, Apparently, yeah. I think it's in Tibet. Quote me on that. Uh, women have more than one husband and it's typically they'll marry the brother. That's probably... Oh yeah, I heard that. Right, and yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah, yeah. a, a major, Nepalese also major that. system. Actually, a Nepalese girl told me that before. Right, like, yes. and I would put another point into that and I will say, there, was, there, would, there would have been a time where there was no surnames. We've been around for a minimum of 250,000 years. I'm, I'm assuming at some point there was no marriage, no surnames, right? Um. I wouldn't say there, do no. I wouldn't say there was a point where there were no surnames, unless we were talking about the first. So the beings. first. This is what. Well, unless, we're even about, the, even unless, the, unless we're talking about Adam and Eve. We we don't know whether we can't say whether it came at the fortieth uh, human being or the four hundredth human being. We can't say when surnames came in. But we have no idea. You see the Jewish tribe. They link it with the mom. Yeah, they make yeah. You yeah, become a Jew. The but the Hebrew Israelites are saying it's the dad. I hear yeah. you. So through their text, it's like they're reading both sides. Because yeah, the Ashkenazim say it's the mum. Is that right? Well, you, you, if your mum's a Jew, yeah. you're a Jew. And the Hebrew Israelites are reading in the Bible, see, it's your father. Your That's right, you get me? So yeah, but say, all I was trying to say, my whole argument was, let's, let's just keep it short, innit? Yeah. My argument was... Keep that, it short. Yeah, yeah it's keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> you said keep it short. <laughs> go on, go on. My argument was, it's easy to trace uh, the paternal lineage, right, uh, DNA, because of the way society is shaped. Yeah, you made the argument, but you just didn't back it up with any evidence. Yeah. And the evidence I made is because even, look, right now, like you said, your name is not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to know your mom's Nelson. name. Nelson, Nelson. Yeah, it actually but, means son of Nell. Yeah. But my dad's name's not Nell. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> because I inherited it off other people and other cultures, yeah. maybe. True. So that's even, that makes it even worse. What do you that, mean? that messes up your argument even more because, oh. because, what does Nelson say about the patrilineal? I got it off my dad. You're right there. Uh, my brother's got his name off his mum, and he's a, in and he's in a patriarchal system. My brothers are brown. We got different. Uh, we got same dad, different mums. Yeah, he's he's brown. I'm Nelson. 
So I took my dad's, he took his mum's. I could have took, I've, I've actually changed my name as well by default. I got a couple of names. One of them's my mum's. Yeah, because now it's not a strict culture mm. of uh, 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 50, 100 years ago in this country. Yeah, it was, you take your dad's name, that's it. No yeah. messing about, woman stays in the house. Just, everything was very traditional. Yeah. It was, you, the, the Islamic culture and British culture 100 years ago were more synonymous. And that, that was, that's all we were saying. The problem was you were then trying to use genetic code to back up what you were saying. And that's when we were like, whoa. Because then you were deliberately ignoring the genetic code of the mother. I think he was trying to validate mm. homogeneity. Mm. He was trying to validate people sticking to themselves. Yeah, which is, but, yeah. Mm. But, but you can't do that through saying, well, look, because I'll know who my mum and my dad is. Mm. That's not a really good argument. You're better off just saying, the point, I prefer people to just be, I, I like it. I like pure racial purity. That's the best. Yeah, but you have in, to be real. In layman that. terms, I understand. I'm not going to yeah. go near a Somali girl because you and your <laughs> brethren will yeah, kill yeah, me. Yeah, so yeah. I get it. All right, cool. I'll leave him alone. Hitler hit, hit said the same thing, right? Hitler <laughs> said the same thing. Now, a lot of people yeah. agree with him. Uh, I, I think he said he did, uh, apparently he called the Jews bast bastards because they were mixed. I, and also, apparently, don't you think it's interesting that there was no black people in the concentration camps that I'm aware of? He apparently, according to my research, said again, but not to their level, because there was loads of black people in Germany. Yeah, they Some were even in the, in the army. Yeah, so, yeah, so how come we don't see no, these actually, black people? Actually, you know what it said though, 20% 20, 20 of the Amazic Jews, no, not, what was it called, uh, is it, is it uh, there's also other Jews. Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Jews carry the E3B as well, 20% of them. Uh, Einstein carried that habit, Einstein. Oh. So, it would make sense if you said they were mixed. Yeah, they were, they were, well, of course they were mixed. Well, look, for them to, for them to, well, a, a lot of Jews, a lot of Ashkenazi Jews and all Jews have said they came, what was it um, that Egyptian president said? They left black and came back white. Yeah, some, <laughs> yeah that's what my man said. At some point, we've got to acknowledge, because they say Jesus is brown now, if Jesus even existed, they say Jesus is brown. We, so we know that there was some color to these people and then, some of the Jews or the Israelites, let's call them Israelites, went into Africa. Well, are, you into, saying, are you saying Jesus didn't exist? I'm saying I have no evidence to say that a guy named Yoshua ben Yosef existed. There's no record. Okay, do you think Muhammad existed? Probably more so, why? although... Why? If, uh, why, why, why do you think he Well, the, the first evidence, the coin. What coin? The, well, there's a... There's a there's, there's, Apparently, according because, to my the research, Arabs never used coins. When according, the well, there. there's a coin with a, with uh, the name Muhammad on it, well, and it, it's, a, any it's, king. A, it's a Sassanian yeah. coin. It was something to do with basically. Apparently, the first writings with Muhammad's name on was to do with the temple, or was it the Rock of the Dome or something? No. That was the first evidence with Never. his name on. And this coin was supposed to refer not to Muhammad, but to the guy who built the Rock of the Dome, which was not that Muhammad, it was another Muhammad. That was Omar, isn't it? Omar, Omar, I think it was Omar. That it was a different, yeah, a different Muhammad. And they're saying that the Muhammad that you talk about today, it could really be that. I don't know, because it's not, it's not my thing. But, yeah, but the question is, if, because at the end of the day, you, now we're you, you, don't have, you don't have, you don't have, any, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. you don't have any, we're going to come back to the... Yeah, no problem, I don't mind where we're going. Yeah, if, if, we're if, coming back to that one, I thought it was done. Uh, the, he's, yeah, not, if, that if, is kind of. If you feel like that's this kind of we, we just said, we just said it, it finished with him and Hitler have the same. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that's really the guy, you know. I'm joking, nah, I'm joking. Anyway, you have so to take that. It to but, but the thing is this, yeah, because the only evidence you would have, if you said you think Muhammad exists, I don't know. You, you, you can't say you don't know. Uh, well, I, if I, if I don't know something, why can't I say I don't All know? All right, okay. Can I ask you another question? All right, because then the day we're talking about people that exist through text, right? Okay. We don't have pictures of them. We don't, we don't know where they well, exist. Well, there are pictures of Muhammad. It wasn't even wrong. It wasn't even deemed. Is it Haram? It's Haram. It wasn't deemed it's, 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 Haram until a certain point. I've seen no, pictures of Muhammad. Imagery, imagery is Haram from the time nope. the, the deen began. Nope. I've seen pictures of Muhammad. I've seen pictures. Google it then. Right? It was apparently, again, according to my research. He's talking about research, the Turkish, you know, the Turkish I, don't, I don't care who it was. I don't care who it was. No, that, that's I, not, let, let me just say something. Up until, there was a certain dude, according to my research, that, that came. Uh, it, it, this, this was after all the. This was after the golden age of Islam, when is because Islam was like uh, the, the religion of knowledge. You had all these scholars, 
right? Same way today you have... Um, Are you the, talking about the House of Wisdom in Baghdad? I don't the, know who... The library don't know where place. they were all coming. No, mm. I, I, there was a guy that came, mm. apparently, and he came and he decided to stop the depictions of Muhammad and he decided to stop all the ancient wisdom and knowledge and stop listening to these pagans because the, the Egyptians, uh, the um, Islamic scholars were looking back at the Egyptian stuff like the Quran is supposed to have said, look at the people of the book and yeah. check out all these other... So they were doing the right thing. This is why they came out with such science and knowledge. Yeah. This is why the Moors, when they went into Europe, yeah. they passed on so much wealth of information. Yeah. They dealt, they passed on the Greco and Roman information, right? And also something else, the, uh, those times, those Muslims never destroyed one monument. Yeah, and that, I agree. Whether, whether, they were so civilized. Yeah, yeah. To, uh, comparatively, obviously there was some people were barbaric, but yeah. they were so civilized and people lived in harmony and yeah. all that kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but so what changed from Muslims being the more likely candidate to being um, okay, Nobel, got, Nobel Peace Prize winner to, to Jews no, no, being? You're getting a different question because the question was because I wanted to ask you people that exist through that's text. Where, that's where it evolved. All right. Okay. Now let, let me let me give me give me someone who's famous in history. We're talking about uh, uh, a long time ago, huh? Yeah. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Let's go there. Okay, Genghis Khan. No, no, he's, 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 not, he's, not, he's not that. He's, 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 he's too close. It's too close. Let's just close. go back. You want to go back further? Oh. Further. Like BC, Alexander how, the Great. How, how far do you Alexander, Alexander the, the Great. Great. Thank you. Mm. Let's use... Alexander the Greek. The Macedonian. The Greek. Yeah, yeah, the Greek. Yeah, Greek. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Macedonian. Mm. Mm. I just don't like to use the word great. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alexander, okay. Sorry. okay. <laughs> Alexandra, right, at his time. Now, Alexandra only exists through textbooks, though, you know, his history and his works and all of that. I think he exists, though, through different, um, what's I going to say, through different sources. So you have, I think the Indians write about him. Yeah, but I'm, yeah? so there's different sources yeah, independent. But, but in text, though. My point is there's oh, no pictures. Oh, okay, there's no, oh, well, of there's course, no there's, there's no photographs, there's no videos. Exactly, yeah. but you believe he existed. Um, I think it's reasonable. It, could, it might not have existed. But no, no, but, no, no, honestly speaking, that's my entirely answer. It honestly. might not have existed, but based on the evidence that's there, historically, historically through texts, through text. I think it's highly probable. I'm not going to put my money. I'm, do you want my answer? You know, he wants gonna, me to say, yeah, no, I know for sure. I don't no. know whether the guy existed. The guy. It could be a hoax. Alexander the Greek could be a hoax. As far right. as I'm concerned. But, listen, yeah, yeah. listen. <laughs> so many different people write about him. More likely that he's not a hoax. Right. <laughs> exactly. that, that, but, but that's what I just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but you are denying it. I know, but you are denying it. He's, he's just saying, I don't know. For example, let me give you an example. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to be talking to the Irish brother about answer, this. Your answer, brother, your answer is cloudy. It's not clear. Make it clear. But that's because my. That's because. The evidence is cloud. Or the, um, my mind is as cloudy as the evidence. I weren't there. What is it? Alexander the Great is. The Greek is 2000 and what? 2,000, 2,300 three hundred years ago, yeah, yeah, right? Like That's that. way before me, from before Christ. So it's too far. I can't say that I know. Hey, Alexander, what, Alexander was before Christ. Right? Yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 it was. It was. It was about two, three hundred uh, BC. I think it was so, just so, before. So, so you're saying it's most likely that he existed. Let me give you an example okay. of how something so close, like you wanted to pick two thousand years ago. I'll go two hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah. According to texts, the stewards were black. Do you know who the stewards are? No. From King James yeah. to Blood Clark, Ke Queen Anne. Yeah. According to text, these people were black. Acor according to text, the English people, you know, pixies, fairies, and dwarves and elves. They weren't fairy tales, they were real people living in the British Islands. According to texts and anthropologists right. and scientists. Yeah. But this, this is, this, this this is up to recently. This is not common knowledge. Let's speak about common knowledge. Well, Common knowledge is subjective, it's based on whatever's put out there. Yeah, common knowledge is what everybody knows. And common, everybody yeah, common is yeah. what's put out there. Yeah. So there's a lot of things about Muhammad that aren't common. Uh, or, or Islam. He's the most documented man in history. Yeah. He's the most documented man in history. He's one of the most history. documented men in history. No, but I said there's a lot of things about Muhammad. I didn't say he okay. is not, because it's, well, it's one of like the biggest religions. Him? Well, oh, 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 let me take that back about Muhammad. Well, actually, no. Because we even know the way he ate, about? the way he slept, the way he was he slept on. No, the way yeah, he exactly. Yeah, exactly. But we yeah. know what people have told us about these things. Yeah. Just like with Alexander the, the, the Greek. Okay. We know what people have told us about these but things. We didn't keep a diary. Uh, okay. We knew that Alexander the Great existed, but it wasn't just his people that spoke about it. The same way Jesus, Alexander, you, like it wasn't only like people from Jerusalem who knew about him. Do you know what I'm saying? Who like, else wrote about him? The people in the Quran wrote about him. Do you know what I'm saying? No, it is no. But the people, 
The people. Did it stop? is. Oh, okay. He had to clip onto someone. The yeah. people that wrote about Jesus. Sorry. Oh right, okay. You. The people that. You know what? The hey, people. Tom, can you the, can you make it two parts? It's going to be too long. Yeah, the, yeah. You, it splits all that stuff up anyway. The people who wrote about Jesus after in the Quran and stuff, yeah. they were talking about him. Um, that was Chinese whispered. That was that was. It was not in his time. In fact, even the people of the Bible yeah. wasn't even of Christ's time. If, like I said, we can't even we can't even validate Christ's existence yet. Okay, the, 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 how a religious person will combat that that thought would be to say that he was spoken about in the Old Testament, and then he came and, and um, a New Testament came speaking about him. Jesus was written about in the Old Testament. I think so. Uh, that's before. Did that's before know, him, though. Did you know Saint Thomas? So that, well, well, so, so that's, go on. Christians use that as evidence to say that he came and Muhammad is not the person in the Old Testament that they're talking about. Yeah, but Christians aren't the most rational people, like, I've got to say. <laughs> no, for, for them. I'm just saying, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm just answering. Yeah, no, like, no, no, no. Christians will say, uh, uh, no disrespect, yeah. but um, Christians, as well as many of religious people, for example, here's what I, if you want to know what I think about uh, Jesus Christ and stuff, right? I think it's quite simple. This is. When I was about 18, I looked at it rationally and it didn't make no sense, so I moved away from it. Then, when I started to understand a lot of its metaphoric, I moved back towards it. Now I'm more in accordance with Islam and Christianity. Why? Not because I see a lot of these stories as being literal. I understand what these things are trying to do. And I understand the thing called astrotheology, which is the, mo the original and most basic form of religion, which is based on observation. Jesus Christ makes sense in terms of all the names that's been linked to him, like the Morning Star, which is also what Lucifer was called, right? You know that, right? I Lucifer. Don't about, I don't know about Jesus being called Morning Star. Well, just Google it. That's that's one of his names, as well as the Lamb and all that kind, the light of the. No, the Torah. Or is it, is it's it again? About the modern day Bible, Torah. maybe, maybe the modern. Mo the Morning Star, the light of the world, all this. You know, the light. Light refers to Lucifer. Lucifer is light. Lucifer means knowledge. Yeah. The, the 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 chemical inside the glow worm. You know them glow worms. That's called Luciferin, yeah? You have Luke and Luke Skywalker. It's supposed to mean Lucius. It just means light versus Darth, Darth Vader. It's all symbolic. Yeah. Now, when you want to talk about, if we're going to have a debate about whether Luke Skywalker is real or Darth Vader, it's a joke. But if we talk about what they represent, now we're in my territory and I understand where they're coming yeah, from. Sure. So Jesus represents something to me, only to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. But what he doesn't understand is this. You see, there are, there are, there are many types of Christianity. I don't know if you know that. But for example, when you come to Europe or in the Western world, especially before America existed, right? And when, when King James was there and their marriage, yeah? You see, there was a time when the Christian Europeans were banned, absolutely banned to hold a Bible yep. for hundreds of years. That was when right? it's Catholicism. Yeah, for, for a long time. Yep. And they've waited for such a time until they dumped down the people and they informed them only what they wanted them to hear. Yeah, who was that emperor? Was that no, they were always Const dumb. Constantine. 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 No, 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 that's that the guy that created Catholicism. Yeah. Talking about the guy who first accepted it, but he had another name. The, 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 the first the guy, guy who accepted um, Christianity as a Roman emperor. As a Roman, Cyprus, that was Constantine. Yeah, Cyprus, no. That was no, that was Constantine. It was Rome. Yeah, yeah. Was Rome. Constantine, that's what I said. Constantine the, the first, I think it was. Yeah, there's a lot of Constantines, but it's one of them. And then they had the Nicene Council in 325 AD, which he did what in? Yeah. Right? You already had the Gnostic Christianity. You already had Coptic Christianity. Yeah. 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 So he created a new one. Yeah. And guess what he put inside there? What? They all linked up with 266 uh, priests and bishops and stuff, right? Yeah. And they all concocted, they all conspired to create their version. Remember, they were killing Christians at the time. True, they were killing them. That yeah, that's why you, why do you think the devil's got a pitchfork? Yeah. yeah. Because that's the Greek god Trident, yeah, who, who carries the Trident, the god of the underworld, because they, they have, they, the Greeks and the Romans, they had gods that represented certain things. Mm. All they did is put it inside Christianity and then they called it, like, for example, December the 25th, this is what Christmas, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is what Christians celebrate, right? Yeah. When it's, a, when it's, a, Jesus, it's a homosexual um, <laughs> uh, pay, uh, ceremony. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's Valentine's. Do no, it. December the 25th yeah. is Saturnalia. It was a time in Roman history where, uh, where the men used to get drunk, okay. beat their wives, yeah. and have sex with their friends, with their male friends, uh, right? 
That's December the 23rd. I don't hear that, but about, there's a point I was trying to make with the Constantine thing, yeah? Go for is it, it yeah. Constantine or You're talking about Constantine, it doesn't matter. Constantine, isn't it? But you're talking about dumbing down the people. Yeah, so they were dumbing down the people, and eventually they came up with this Bible that they have today. Yeah. And when they come up with this Bible, no, there was no objections. And the reason why there was no objections to the Bible is simply because, why? People, they, they, were ready, they were ready to take whatever. They were yeah, scared. Yeah. yeah, and also, yeah, and they, they, as you said, they yeah. killed a lot when, of when, when did that stop? Who opposed? It stopped when the King James Version came out. No, well, oh, really? So, so after, after King so. James, there was no, after so. King James, there was no Reformation. After King James, I think King James and, and the Protestants allowed people to have Bibles. Martin Luther, right? Yeah. Yeah. People know about Martin Luther King, they don't know about Martin Luther, who was the... Martin Luther. Right, Martin, Martin Luther, Luther yeah. which I'm assuming Martin Luther King was named after. Yeah. Martin Luther is the German priest who went against the Catholic Church because yeah, yeah. Protestantism didn't even mm -hmm. exist. It was yeah. just Catholicism, yeah. yeah, and the Roman popes. That's yeah? the name protest because they yeah. protested. He protested and he put some uh, document up and he, he dared to go against the Pope. The Pope is the king of Europe. Always yeah. was the king of Europe. Yeah, the black yeah. pope as well. Then you got the black pope who was, who was supposed to be like the black nobility and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So anyway, this guy dared to go against them because what his argument was, how dare the pope use Catholicism to make money? They were making so much money because you had to you had to pay to go to heaven. You had to pay for priests to pray for you, right? You had to pay for certain ceremonies and stuff. So and and like you said or I think you were saying, only certain people were allowed to even read the Bible. Mm. But don't forget, most people were illiterate, yeah. even past this, right up until people the 18th. People were burnt right and up until killed the, and hanged for having a Bible in their hands. The witch finder general, that's yeah. a real thing, yeah. where they used to go and uh, try witches. Yeah. And the test was to dunk them in water yeah. and it was never going to pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, this is people being deluded. You yeah. could even go to the stage where the Pope uh, denounced, renounced it um, 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 a sin. <laughs> They made it a sin to wash yourself. Yeah. Or, or they made it a sin to have sex unless it's a Friday at 2 p.m. And all this kind of mad stuff. This is, a, yeah, but, this is why I don't listen to yeah, priests. But the, point, the point I was trying to make is this. You see, you see right now, when you look into the Bible, there are some which books one? missing. Uh, the, the King James and the Protestant and the Catholics as well. Okay, which missing. has got less books than the Catholic Bible. Yeah, but still, they all got, they, some of them got So they took books, books out. Why would you, would you take books out of the Quran? Would you wait, take wait, passages wait, out of the Quran? Wait, wait, let me, let me, Never let, do that, would you? Let me, let me finish. Why did they do it? They can, exactly. to, to, for example, if you're trying to push a certain agenda, you can take certain things out. Yeah. You know what I'm well, according to that Christian prince dude, that you like, have heard of that, right? Yeah. According to him, there are some verses missing out of the uh, Quran. No, there isn't. One of it, because the donkey, the donkey, ain't it famous about the donkey in the certain parts? No, no that's made up. Wait, but wait, wait, but I'm trying to make a point. We'll, no, we'll come uh, back to this. We'll a come dude back named to Christian Quran. Prince. We'll, we'll, we'll come it's back like to the Quran. Debaters. Just, just keep that in your mind, because that's yeah, a very yeah. important question. But the thing is this, yeah? You see, Ethiopia, yeah, this is my favorite, this is one of my favorite countries when it's speaking about Orthodox Christianity. Coptic Christianity, favorite, yeah. that's right. Orthodox. Uh, yeah, yeah, Orthodox and they're the like real, Christianity. real Christians, so right? You said the Byzantines. Ethiopians. Ethiopians. No. Oh, it's it's today, okay. I'm talking about in the modern world today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to find out the real Christians, yeah. like Christians to the core, yeah. go to Ethiopia. I, I'd agree. They're, 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 the, they're the ones with the most claim. Exactly. Yeah, the House yeah. of Solomon, all that. Bro, that these people have a historical uh, uh, connection. Uh, uh, no, historical uh, record of meat like Thomas. You know uh, Thomas, one of the disciples of Jesus. Yeah, came God, Gospel to of Thomas. Yeah, he came to Ethiopia. That's not in the Bible, by the way. Oh, no. that's not in the Bible, though. They, they, you know why they get kept Gospel of Thomas, sir? Yeah. Because Gospel of Thomas was talking about you don't need priests and imams. Yeah. But you imagine, don't need them. imagine God's this, with you. Yeah, that's also, what. That's also, what Gospel yeah, said. Also, he had more. He, his narrative was close to Islam because he wasn't even viewing Jesus as to be a god or all that stuff. Yeah. Right? Now, when it, well, it, now, he went much further and he says mm, he said mm, that we are all children of God mm, and we all have the power of Jesus. Exactly. If, if you believe in God, I, I, but to I, some extent, I don't. I don't think we have the power of Jesus, but. If you're in a certain situation, you're a godly man, of course God will help you. Well, nah, they're, that, they're, the, part, say, they're nah, the Gospels I, would, I agree I would with. Agree I'm with, down with nah, the Gospel of Thomas. I would, I would agree with that. You know why? Right. Because uh, do, you, do you remember the, the, from the Quran, the boy and the king? Ashab al yeah, yeah. This is a boy who, who wasn't a prophet, a messenger, but who was only a pious guy who was trying to convey the message of God, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was able to cure the blind. He wasn't okay. a prophet, he was Allegedly. able to walk on water. Because Allegedly. what? He's connected to God, right? Allegedly. 
Yeah, now I'll come back to the point, yeah? I don't think you, you see, hear what see, I'm saying. See, I'm saying right, allegedly. No, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We'll come back to that. I know. Because we, we don't know, do we? We don't know. Look how many frauds we have today. I'm not saying this is a fraud. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm just saying. I want to get back to the most point. Most people I know are frauds yeah, in this day and age. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, them psychics. Yeah, but yeah. so, but we have no evidence. All right, so why why is it? It's a good right great, now, it's a great question. You're shaped by I can only be shaped by what yeah, I know, by exactly. my environment. You're right. Why is it that it's only, why God only came to talk and the angels, yeah, they only came and the supernatural things happened, if they were supernatural. They only happened when there's no cameras being created yet, <laughs> right? There's okay. no video cameras, there's no, there's no camera cameras. Okay. It's all thousands of years ago yeah, before I anybody could prove said, anything. Because I've seen when there was, a time, uh, there was a bad time of oppression not too long ago, like five years ago, in um, like near Gaza and, 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 and West Bank. And I saw fishes, yeah? They were, they were banned from having, like they were, they were that like food was taken away from them and stuff like that and they didn't have food to eat and it was Ramadan and fish were jumping out of the water onto the sand for them to be able to eat do you understand? fish were jumping out of the water and, and, and therefore killing themselves okay. so the people in, in, in Palestine could eat okay and you, you're saying that was God that did that? well I don't see any other fishes jumping out of the water <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 your, so your explanation for things happening that you can't explain is God must have done it of course so the, 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 that, that's the that's the problem. You know what I'm that's the problem, and I'm not saying I don't. Well, maybe you could say the, the I'm not sea saying was I don't. poison, and they're trying to jump out of the poison. Yeah. Yeah. Allah Who Allah knows? Allah. But Allah Allah. Allah. I know. I know. <laughs> you. Could, I get your point. You, I get your point. You could your Google, point. and I'm not saying this is the reason. You could Google fish jumping on, uh, on onto the shore. Yeah. You'll find species that do that all day long. I don't think that's what you were talking about. I think it was but, actually but, some however, crazy phenomenon. I, I would agree with you. I'll go with it. It's unusual in their life. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. But where's the evidence of it being God? Like nature is so crazy. In fact, have you ever heard fact is more uh, crazy than fiction? Have you ever heard that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where nothing's more madder than real life. You can watch any movie, but what you, you look at certain stories that happen in, in the world and that's like crazier than anything you could ever think of. Sometimes fact is more crazy than fiction. And so <clears throat> how, do, how do, I think it's called, it's called God of the Gaps, where when you don't understand something, if, if, before we knew what was in the sky, we attributed it to be God sitting in the clouds. We didn't understand. Before we knew that the earth goes around the sun, we said the sun went around the earth because we didn't know. That's called God of the gaps. It's God of not knowing. Yeah, but I feel like it's, a bit, it's, it's all a bit biased because if something like that happened to you, like a fish is jumping out to you, you think God actually saved me and gave me food. That's an, assu that's an assumption that yeah, I would think. I would it. think that. Yeah, you that's would think it. that because you believe in God. You answered that already. No, but, but you know, let, let, let me answer. Can I answer, answer, answer this? Sorry about that, brother. You see, I'm a Somali, right? You see, in Somalia, before we before Islam came to us and this knowledge of God in the sky, the Somalis and before even the Arabs were even Muslims or when the Arabs were turning to faces and idols they called from themselves, yeah. calling that God and the rest of the world, half of the world was doing that. The Somali people, huh? they knew there was God. Yeah, but I'm talking about eventually. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the Somali people, what they did is like they believed in something called Waq. and Waq is the is the is the what's it called the the the, the deity above. So, in, in, if you go to Somalia right now, and you try and look for idols, or, or which certain people used to worship, you won't find it. Okay. Right, and um, yeah, so so basically they believe in this sky god called Wat. So the idea that there is something greater than us, which is outside of this world, is something that stayed within humanity for so long time. So basically, this idea. So it's killing and raping. So they must, they must have been a certain contact with humanity that actually gave them this thought that they kept holding on to. Yeah, it's called astrotheology. That's what I tried to explain earlier. Okay. Astrotheology astro is, to my understanding, and no one will ever be able to prove it. It's just one of those things where I have to say it's just. Philosophy, Could be. Yeah. Fifty-fifty. It's, it's like saying <laughs> everybody know, came from. Everybody came from. You remember what we were saying earlier? Uh, everybody came from East Africa. And we don't know when surnames I were created. Say everybody, yeah? Yeah. We, yeah, maybe they yeah. didn't, maybe they did. Yeah. That's my whole point. We don't know. Yeah. yeah, we don't know these things. And it's the same thing with astrotheology, but it makes sense according to most of the religions that were formed before the Abrahamic faiths, and like what you were just talking about there, okay. right? Astrotheology is basically the understanding that nature and your surroundings is responsible for your surroundings or the way you are 
And so basically you would look up at the sun. This is why most of the religions around the world, especially pre the religion or pre the religions of the world, they all revolve around the sun. This, because why? It's obvious that the sun in the sky, you would look up at it and you think, wow, it makes everything light every day. It warms us up. When, it, when, it, when, it's, when it's out every day, it makes things grow. When it's cold and it's snowing and it's dark, it's, um, animals are trying to run you down and kill you. So it's obvious that you would associate, it's just association, you would associate certain environmental influences with, um, with, with having impacts based on what they are. So people, what, what people did was they put a face on the sun and they called it Ra or something, <laughs> right? And, then, and they understood at the time that the Ra was just the sun it was just like talking about three little pigs. Oh, do you know why they said that? Though? They only said it because it, it was just to, um, all it was was to simplify the story. This is my understanding. Yeah. Later, other civilizations came into places like Egypt and stuff, and they looked at them and they thought, hold on. Um, they, they took the personifications literally. So rather than saying Ra is just no, a representation actually, of the no. sun, they says, oh, so the sun, Ra, is actually a guy who actually lives in the sky, yeah, but that, who's separate not... to the sun. That, that's and that's what happened with Jesus. Jesus is actually the sun. That's why Jesus walks on water. Like every day, Jesus walks on, the sun walks on the horizon, right? Right? So Jesus, or the sun, dies on when? December the 22nd. And he's risen, resurrected three days later on December the 25th. Why is that? That's because the sun stops moving south. Yeah, but that's, but December the 22nd. At, but, this but is nature. It, but you don't get it though. You're looking at, you're looking at it from a Christian point of view. No, I'm not. I'm looking but at it from Islam, a scientific point of view. But in Islam, we don't believe Jesus even died. Yeah, but you can't. If you can't prove he existed, yeah, then yeah. But what's the what? With science, most of it is theory, so they're not actual facts. It's theory are. based on evidence, though. Like you said earlier, yeah, based, on have, yeah, based on evidence. Yeah, based on evidence. Yeah. Like, Religion for example, is. If you get a group of pigs and they do something, that's made. That's taken. But also, thing. we could but say. If you take another group of pigs yeah. from God knows where, like another country. Yep. They might do something different. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I'm saying is, with science, I won't take it all. Because like, when you make everything philosophy, yeah, yeah, you lose. I, I feel like, because I'm not gonna say it's fact. I feel like you lose a sense of reality. Sort of, you know. What I'm so saying? if you, so if you look at reality, and look at it for the wider thing that it is, you lose reality. Is that no, what you say? No, 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 no. It's kind of twisted when you say it like that. When you take too much philosophy. Yeah. What's philosophy? It's it just looking at the world. Yeah, philosophy is just and ideas, asking questions, ideas, the, ideas, and asking questions about the world. But that's other people's philosophy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah different yeah. philosophies. But religion value. is other people's religion. But coming back, coming other back people's to the point thoughts. Though, In fact, religion is philosophy. Uh, but it's but it's but it's philosophy that people say it is true. The way I said it is yeah. exactly the way it is. No. There's no room for error. Philosophy to, can evolve. Yeah, but Do you know what I mean? Back to the point where we so I'm, that's why. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of with, I, I'm kind of with Islam. You're wrong. In its, in its, is no philosophy. How can it be philosophy if they're following the commandments? No, of the supernatural. Well, I'm, not, I'm saying religion is philosophy that's fixed. No, but I see what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. It's religion. It's religion. Religion. Let's it's come back to the point, though. From God. Yeah, but let's let's come back so to the point. If you, yeah, but I don't, I don't. I have no evidence for that God. That's why I call it philosophy. To so someone who believes in a God, it's not philosophy. It's fact. Right? Yeah, but come so, back, come so, back, so come I kind of, I agree with what you're saying. The point which you're trying to make is that I was talking about whether Jesus really existed. Yeah, right? whether Jesus existed is yeah, what we're so talking now, about. because we have to keep bringing every time we wow. sway. From yeah, we but we keep, we keep swaying though, we keep still going. We still have the, yeah, the Jesus, the religion yeah. thing. But because every time we start, boom, we get something else. Okay. We get carried away. Digression, man. Digression. Yeah. Right now we've covered so many I like digressions, man. Yeah. I like them. But um, yeah, so basically, in Ethiopia, for example, uh, Saint Thomas, who is uh, uh, well as a Muslim, Coptic. So, yeah, he came to Ethiopia. Or Gnostic, sorry. Right, he was he came to Ethiopia, yeah. and the Ethiopian people became uh, Christians at the time of Jesus. Right, right, or uh, basically it reached them, and it's able to. They became Christians uh, through the disciples, or they became Christians at his I think time. it was after Jesus. Yeah, but or after the time. Saint Thomas came to Ethiopia. To to preach the religion. I don't think and it was at the same time, but you could, you could be right. I don't know, I don't know, but all I know is that St. Thomas came to Ethiopia yeah. to preach the gospel. Yeah. And, and I guess think Matthew what? did Alexandria as well. Exactly, but guess what? The name 
Saint Thomas, which is uh, which is not even uh, his name, and Ethiopia is a whole different name. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But I think different. they all like different names. Yeah. I think they just Westernized names. Yeah, they just Westernized. So, so, as far as I'm aware. So they can, so that you know, they could be. On so the they top. associate with him. It's yeah. like the Chinese having a Chinese Jesus. Yeah. Just so, we, so they can associate, because you should always have a deity that looks like yourself. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's where Black Africans have gone wrong, yeah. because. They are worshipping people that don't look like them. <laughs> I will lie, you're right. Is, I do agree even, with that. Even if you do provide yeah. information for Nelson that convinces him Jesus exists, you then have to go to the next stage and prove to him that all the miraculous things yeah. that were documented, Jesus really That's did. what I said last time in, a, in another video. Did Thomas proved? What did he say? No, did you hear what he just said though? Can you repeat that one more time? So, even if you prove to Nelson historically that Jesus existed, existed. You're then gonna to have to go to the next stage yeah. and prove to Nelson that yeah. all the miracles yeah. really Thank happened. Because I, because I can admit that there was a rabbi, there was anti-establishment that was around at that time. There's been many, and because Jesus alleged he's supposed to be an anti-establishment rabbi that came to reorder the word of God the way he saw it. Because everybody fell off. He was doing all crap that's shit. That's like what Muhammad did. That's Muhammad really was question. a re reformist, right? I'm gonna answer you in a he came to way. bring the word of God back again, right? Yeah, so what Muhammad came to do. Yeah. Now, change, yeah, now your, your question. So again. And abrogation also, to change certain laws that the Jews had. Yeah, yeah. What, whatever, it, which implies kind of that God yeah. made mistakes, but but no, I, no, no, I no, but no, we could. They, they, their laws were made so difficult, so many of laws were made so difficult, so they kept asking questions. And saying, why should we do this? Why should we do that? Yeah. Think of what you're saying. Think of what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying that God, Almighty, all powerful, yeah. made things too difficult for the they things. Too difficult. They made it difficult for themselves. So the question they were asking, like, which, for example, a sort of Bakhara, like the cow, like, what color is it? What does it do? Which specific cow is it? Like, they, instead of they used to kill a cow. You know what I'm saying? Who said killer cow? Moses. How did they kill a cow? Okay, but was this God telling them to do this or? Yeah, he told Moses to tell them to kill a cow so they could find out who a murderer was. Right, okay. Yeah? And what they, did, what they did, yeah, they asked, what is this cow? What color is it? What does it do? Is it like, fat? Is it thin? Is it, Too is many it fat? In accordance with who? Was that in accordance with God or themselves? No, they, no, they just they started just asking being, questions. Silly yeah, question that. Kill that a yeah. Cow. Yeah. Do you understand? It was just what? a cow. In order for them to follow God's law, like, they, they devised... Like if I said to you, kick that rock, and yeah. then you looked at me and said, what rock? Is it the big rock? Is it the small <laughs> rock? Is it the great? Where is it? Is it down, yeah. is it down yeah. in South London? Okay, so, you, so are you saying that God gave them laws and they asked, started asking questions on how there was... Not laws, he just told them a command. Okay, okay. Command. and then they was and then they devised tests or questions on how... To, they was questioning God on how do I identify these... No, but he's saying kill. For example, yeah. God just said, go kill, kill a cow. Rock, yeah. Right, just right. Kill a cow. Actually, yeah. That's simple. Get me a bar of chocolate. Yeah? yeah. I don't care which one it is. Yeah. But you say which chocolate? Yeah. yeah. From what shop? They made it difficult for them. So you're making. So you're saying they should have just yeah. done exactly they what it said. Command, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they just made a cow, it's just get any cow in it, it's a cow, not many cows, not fat ones. But the fact that they made it too difficult for themselves saying, oh, you know what, is it right? Is it red? Is it blue? That's is evidence that God didn't write, that God didn't give them the laws. That is the actual evidence. How, how is it evidence? Easy. If I'm all powerful and almighty and all knowing, yeah. I know how to, I would know how to manipulate you or help you yeah. to follow some rules that I've set, okay. right? Okay. If I'm... If, but, but that's why God said, this is not a command. What's the difference between no, the rule and the command? That, that wasn't. In fact, he thinks that is the part to push. Okay, let me explain. No, to you. What's the difference see, between see, the rule? At a particular time, someone got murdered. Yeah. And the only way to uh, uh, do something or to bring this person well, back, yeah, back bring to him, life bring justice. is to sacrifice a cow. Why is that the only way? I don't know. It wasn't sacrifice the cow. The cow. What they were told to do yeah. is to kill the cow, take yeah. a piece of meat from the cow, yeah. and hit the dead person with it. And the dead person would rise and say, this person killed me. Right. And, and, and this is God's law, right? It's not, sorry, but the, at that, that particular moment. Command, yeah? at that sorry, particular that's God's moment. command, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah at that particular moment. What I'm trying to say between a law and a command is he's saying that for this scenario, do this. He's not saying you have to do this every time someone dies. You understand? Just for that scenario. It's just for that scenario. So what do you do in any, every other scenario? No, but he, they, it was just for that. So they asked, who killed this man? And they asked Moses. Moses asked, asked, asked God, Allah SWT, yeah? And Allah SWT told him that. You, you do know Moses is referred to as the law bringer, right? Yeah, but so why is it not a law? No, but, but he doesn't get it. Let's just, let's no, go no, no, no. I get it. This is this is my point. <laughs> this is the reason why there doesn't there's no God the way you guys describe it because 
to me, if there's an all knowing, all powerful God, I'm going to give that. I'm going to give that props. That, that God is not going to be incompetent to where it does things that don't make any sense or that fails. God's not going to fail. Only, only someone like us would fail. Wait, brother. Because about, we're wait, because wait, we're wait, wait, fallible. Wait, how about how about we discuss whether God exists or not? That's even a better topic. That's, that's a better. Topic. That's what we should be doing because okay. we're discussing something you haven't even proved to me yet. Okay, good now. So we have to now, do I that. I tried. I tried. Now, thank you. I was thank trying. You. Huh? I believe in some type of God. My God, at the moment, because yeah. I'm on a journey and I'm trying to learn, yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to find out what it is, and I'm using Islam and I'm using yeah. Christianity, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to go to where their sources were, right? And I think that's where Islam and Christianity fail. Well, it's they don't go. Yeah, but do you feel that there's some type of God? Do you feel there's a, yeah, there's a creator? There's a creator, okay. creator force. At the moment, that's energy, because uh, energy is. In the, in the Quran, they say everyone has a fitrah, that everyone has a natural inclination to God. Do you know what I'm saying? I've got, I'm fine with that. I think everybody. But that's a proof. I think everybody believes. Don't you see that as a proof? Like that's said in a book. Yeah, but it's not a dude who cares how you walk about and what clothes you wear What's and what your well, sexual I activity need, is. To talk to these guys, energy don't, don't care about that stuff. Okay, okay, okay. How you about understand? This? How energy about? didn't write a book. What energy did was set the laws of physics. Okay. That's that's what I understand. What's that? What's that? But I got to understand this. You go science, you lose me, bro. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I, I, I want to get into this. I want to get into this with you. What? I, I, yeah, say, I and I, I know, you know what as well. When yeah. when Albert Einstein and them and they're going about science, yeah. they lose me. All <laughs> I can do is go with what I can understand. Yeah. So there's certain things in science that you understand. That's the level that you go to. But like you would with the Quran and learn about the Quran. We, I think we should also learn about science and try to learn about this environment yeah, that is basically, if God exists, they're the, they're the law, that's the laws of God. Laws of physics is the laws of God. That's why I think science, science and nature, uh, science and religion used to be like that. I feel like this day wrong. No, I, I they've think, gone. I think, no, no, they've science gone, they've was gone. invented by religion to start with. That's what I'm saying, that's yeah. astrotheology. Yeah. But that was when you looked at stuff and you saw it for what it was, there was no man in the sky. Do you, yeah, no no one's ever point, seen a man uh, in the sky. Okay, yeah, no, okay. No, <laughs> no, but some people, yeah, well, some people imply that, that though. Muslims don't believe that. But I can't, because I need to, because we don't want to digress. Go so for it, go for it. Because I want to finish this. And he asked me a question as well. Uh, uh, how, how, if, 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 if I prove to you that Jesus existed, how do we, how do we prove that, uh, uh, basically, uh, how do we yes, prove that the miracles, yeah, well, nice the to miracles, talk to you, man. how do we prove the miracles that Jesus did was real? Now, and also I want to get into the existence of God as well, because this is a really important topic. But need to do that first. But, 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 but to, to answer your, your question, um, I'm guessing you're both African. Yep. Right? You mean all three of us are African? <laughs> I'm an, I'm not, oh, there's a different I'm type not, of African. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not trying to exclude myself, because cause since, cause you guys have fluent English, so I thought you could be Jamaican. What did you say? We had flawed English? Fluent English. Oh, okay, okay. So, so do you. Yeah. Your English is great, man. It's not no, I great. would never think. I thought you was born in England, the way no, you talk. No, I'm not. No, my accent is a bit like off in it. But anyway, it's coming not back. to me, eh? Not to <laughs> me. Coming eh, back man. to the point, yeah? Talk better than enough of these youths who, who have been born here can't even talk English properly, yeah, man. But my, my point I'm trying to make is that the reason why I asked you that, because in Africa, I don't know if you know about voodoo, black magic. I know bits about it. I know. Okay. Now, no scientist or no one would dare to go to Africa or some people who know voodoo <laughs> and exp experiment on themselves, someone to do voodoo. They've already experimented, man. What's, what's wrong with you, no, man? A vo voodoo. Every claim that's been made on this planet has been tested. There is no From claim. the Bermuda Triangle you're gonna, no, no, you're to gonna, cutting no, no. chickens and squirting you're blood on the have to. You're going to have to show me. Actually, I was watching a show on BBC3, I, 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 I player, right? By, Decent um, channel. There, there was there, there was a there's a white lady. I forgot her name. Right, she she goes around the world. Oh no, say man, say straight man. Don't listen to BBC or ITV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, come, come back to the point. But I used to. I used to. Yeah, but but I used to as well. <laughs> <laughs> come back to the point. Yeah, this lady she wants she goes to Africa and she started messing about with the magician, you know, the voodoo doctor. I've heard of. And this guess too. what happened? Yeah. She angered one of the guys. Right. And she's he's like. You're not gonna walk peacefully out of my door, right? And I swear to God, as long as soon as she walked out the door, she she fell. Okay. She collapsed. Okay. Right? She was so yeah. sick. She was taken to the hospital. They yeah. checked her. There's nothing wrong with her. But she's saying, yeah. I've got pain. Yeah. I've got pain. What is it? Yeah. The doctor's saying there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. And that's a live TV show. As soon as it happened, guess what? They cut that bit off. They didn't want to film no more the show anymore. Anyway. Is that your evidence? My, my my point I'm trying to make is that how about because 
we are saying there's no such thing as miracles. Of course, we don't see miracles today. We don't see. We don't. We can't see a man who's walking down the road. But also, uh, for example, the miracles of Jesus. Let's look at it as light and darkness. Voodoo is darkness. The light. The miracles from God are light. Now, let's just say, how about if we could still examine? If we're able to examine the dark side of these so-called miracles then basically if the dark side exists then obviously things that Jesus did existed simply because this is the light side of the miracle. That's a massive if though. Yeah but I have I have witnessed for example I was in Somalia one time and there was a girl who was uh, basically she, she we were just talking having a good time yeah and guess what all of a sudden she fell and she fainted and then she woke up shouting with a whole different freaking voice and there was a guy I'm, obviously, this is, this is subjective, but I'm speaking from a witness. There was a guy speaking through her, literally. Okay. Right? You can still feel her female voice, but she's could, trying could to sound you, like it. Could you see this dude? No, no, it's speaking Yeah, who's that dude, man? What's it's, 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 no, 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 it? Basically, it's speaking yeah, through the girl. Yeah, now, what yeah, happened... Oh, he's not on it. Still, yeah, no. Okay, yeah, all right, what, all right. what happened here is that... This, so, basically, they read the Quran on her and all of that, you know, to get out of it. And this thing started saying where it's from and how we got, you know, because you used to love this girl, all that bullshit. So they had to find this guy to get rid of this, whatever he did to her. Yeah. You understand? And when they went to the guy and they got, basically they, they said, what do you want? He said, he wants the girl. He said, you can't get the girl. What do you want? So they had to please him to let her, to, you know what I mean, to let, her, to let her go. And so he did. And now she's fine. I don't want to say her name because she knows me. She watches my videos. Okay. But that's what happened. That's and what for, you believe happened. No, no, yeah, that's I saw it happen. Like you saw right a now, dude. Right now, you saw the spirit of a leave dude. leave her body. No, no, she was. Listen now, you're talking to me. Yeah. All of a sudden, you collapse. Yeah. That's and then, happened many times. And then, no, 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 and then you wake up with a whole different mentality. You're speaking differently. Like, for example, it's not you anymore. And you're okay. talking about names and places. Because I'm saying that I am this person. Okay. And the reason why I'm talking through you is because I've, because I've done voodoo or magic or something, whatever it is. Right. And now that's why I'm talking through you. You understand? Okay. Now, uh, uh, now, the only way, if you want to a doctor, they'll be he's psychotically, mentally ill. Yeah. But the only way to understand a spiritual disease is to conduct through spiritual Doctorism. That's that's a word that I, I invented, right? Uh, I know where you're coming from. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, that's the only cure. Now, the Somalis at that time, at that moment, as the Muslims, we use the Islamic scriptures to get rid of whatever was in there. So the thing revealed itself. Now, if I read the Quran on you, the verses that are meant for those things, whatever's in you, they can't hold it to the extent that they would have to reveal themselves. Okay. And then the only way to, for us to prove that thing existed is that that person will tell us where he is, why he's doing what he did to you. And then obviously, how how do we even know? We had to track the girl. Imagine Does it work? This. Yeah. Literally if it the works. guy, literally the a guy we don't know where he was. Yeah. Spoke in uh, uh, what's it called out of this girl. We had to the thing, whatever was speaking out of the girl confirmed where he was. And then we had to go to that place and find the guy. Let, me, let me let me guess, was she speaking? Huh? Was she speaking? Yeah. But so she, how do we so how do we no, know it was but, but, the how do we know it was the spirit and not her because it came from her mouth? Yeah, I would have said she said it. it. You don't get it. She doesn't know who the, the guy was. And the guy, as the guy was speaking, he said, I love this girl. Yeah. She's always passing by her head. And this is why I did what I did. So that I can get I suppose her. the question is, how do you know she's being genuine? What do you mean? Just that. How do you know she's being genuine? I'm, I'm, how do you know she's not playing playing around or delusional? Uh, are you delusional? Am I delusional at times? No, no, I'm talking about... I mean, I'm serious, at times. Honestly, now, right now, we're all rational. Right? Not right now. Right now, I'm cold, but I feel I'm rational enough. Yeah, but when we say delusional, what do you think I'm talking about? Uh, well, delusional would be making mistakes. Uh, uh, not, not being uh, in full control of your senses and your body and your mind. So there are times yeah? where you don't have full And then you've got lying where you're doing it on purpose. So I would say, how do you know it weren't any of them? Because, so, because, no, no, because, said, no, no, because said, here's the impact. Time, because here's the impact of what you're saying. If you're correct yeah. and religion does solve all these things, yeah. how comes we can't use it to solve the problems of the world? Can't okay. use it. You can't okay. this, can't because, apply it. In the countries that we live in today, yeah, it's a it, it's a world where every, it's, it's what you can see and what you can touch and what you can feel. If you can't no, touch it, that's no, not no. true. If you can't feel it, yeah, touch it yeah. and see it, it doesn't exist. That's only true of 
certain. That's only true of people who have left religion behind. Uh, uh, most I'm of the world, I'm most of the world, still about religious. I'm they still about, believe in. Uh, in yeah, I'm they still about, believe in what you believe in, yeah, and it don't help them. I'm talking. No, no, I'm talking about Saudi Arabia. It helped. What do you mean? Yeah. Most of the people in Saudi Arabia believe in spirits and stuff, right? You know. You Is know, their country crazy. a shining example for the world to set? Listen, listen, they give me any religious country that, does, why, that is open to... The reason why I brought this up to you is that how about you, like for example, you're in Africa, you can go back to Africa anytime you want. How about you experiment this for yourself, get a video yeah. and experiment it. If nothing happens, yeah. you'd be like, okay, finally, there's no such thing as spirituality. Okay, so test it myself. Test it yourself. I've tested certain things. But I've, I've never gone. I've never gone to Africa to test it. No, nah, do the voodoo one. Okay, no problem. <laughs> right, and this is why I'm I'll saying the voodoo. I'll take you up on that. This is why I'm saying the voodoo. I'm going go on next year. I'll, no, I'll, I'll test it. This is why I'm saying the voodoo one, right? Because for you, sometimes you have to touch the darkness to reach the light, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So since you're saying, how do we know Jesus did this? Jesus did that. But in case I, you fall, in case you fall into that darkness, yeah. know that just seek God. Yeah. I don't think I don't think voodoo is all negative anyway. I think I think voodoo to my I don't I don't I know very little about it, but what my understanding I'm not, is I'm not glorifying it. It's a really bad thing. That's probably because you see it as a bad thing. It's that's because you see. Well, then that's the same with messing with any spirit or any god of any religion. No, not God. We're God, not if you mess it about, will mess you up. No, I, I tell, am I, I, tell, am I, I wrong? I tell you why. If I, you if you mess about with Allah, yeah. Allah will mess you up. Would Am I lying? Okay, okay. Well, that, I, I mean, what you okay. meant. No, no, when I say when I voodoo say voodoo no, no, is no, no, not no, no. good no, no. or bad. You can no, no. use it positively. No, you can't, can't you use voodoo you to like can't. help with things as well? No, you I, can't. Yeah, you can. You no, can. How do you know if you don't believe in it? No, I do, I'm <laughs> Come my. On, Come on. I don't believe in Islam, but I understand. But do you believe in voodoo? I understand its concept. But do you believe in voodoo? Do I believe that it's real? Yeah. It has an effect on people. I have no evidence that suggests to me that it is correct. Uh, okay. However, I've had it explained to me, just like with Islam. I know a lot about Islam, yeah. right? I, but it doesn't mean that I have to believe what the people in it believe, but I understand why you believe what you believe. I understand the stories based around it. I understand some of the principles of it. If I, all I'm saying to you is I understand the, some of the principles. I know less about voodoo than I do, than I do Islam. Yeah, but. At the end of the day, you said, so the question you asked, how do we know if the girl was delusional? Right? Yeah, yeah. How can someone who's being delusional, let's say this girl is a very calm girl. She's never gone that crazy before. Never everyone has seen her before. It's like, for example, when you know someone so much, there are things you think, okay, this guy, this person will never So you know that. her really well like that? Yeah. We were best friends, man. Okay. Right? And she was also like, the same clan and all that stuff, right? Right. So we were close. Right. And there are things that I know she won't do. Okay. Like literally, the girl, like she was throwing out, like she was going crazy, right? But at the end of the day, we had to calm her down, read the Quran on her and yeah. calm her down, all that stuff. And yeah. then that's how she had to confess. Okay. And she's not, it's not her confessing. Yeah. And the thing that actually intrigued me is that when she got better, we asked her, do you know the guy? She said she's never seen him. Right. She doesn't know him. Not, she didn't, she never seen him even in a dream. The fact that a person she's never met before and she's never seen before had to speak through her and then we had to go search for that guy and find the location, right? How do you know she's not deluded in thinking that though? I get why you think that, but why? How do you know okay, she? Okay, okay, let's say she's deluded, but she gave us a name. Name of what? The name of the person. What was the name? She gave us a name. All right, so let's say she gave uh, Michael Thomas. Okay, let's say Michael Thomas. Yeah. What did, oh, what did, how did you, how was she able to substantiate? Because yeah, at the end of the day, the person that's speaking through her, yeah. it's not her, just so you know. Yeah, so, so this person let's says, say this I guy, am, this, okay, this Michael person Thomas, saying, yeah? I am Michael Thomas. Yeah. And then we asked, Michael Thomas, where are you from? Oh, through her still? Yeah. You didn't go and find this Michael no, no, no. Thomas? So you just asked, like, okay. Yeah. So, so Michael Thomas person, said, he, said he's from Saturn. Let's just say he's from there. And then we say, what area? The dark side. What road? Road on Saturn. Let's give you an example. All right, well, if we're going to use roads, yeah, if we're going to use a road, yeah. let's not go with the Saturn thing. Yeah. If you want to use a road, let's say they're from Nottingham, no. yeah, they're from. Uh, um, Nottingham, but everything, just give everything. Yeah, so you, so you got the actual address of this person. Cool. Then what did you do? Now, you went around to now the address. Keep in mind, whoever's speaking through this person does not know that person. Michael Thompson don't know this person, yeah? Yeah. We've got, we got his address. And the girl does not know Michael Thompson. Okay. Can we have a phone number as well and everything? I don't know. But now we have the location. We have the location. Of the person. Yep. So we go there. We go, so you go to the address. And we confirmed 
that actually Michael Thomas lives there. Yeah, and he says, I, yeah, I did speak through her. And he says, no, he won't, he doesn't, he won't say I speak through her. He would say, I did something. Because he doesn't want to... He told her. you that he used this girl, your friend, to speak through. Yeah. That's what he says. Through voodoo, yeah. Through voodoo. Right, and we have to, like, uh, there, there's, a, there's a heavy punishment in Somalia or in Islam. Yeah. Anyone who does black magic or voodoo is death. Okay. So obviously you had to you had to lay out this to him. Now we know it's you. If you want to live, yeah. you're gonna have to tell us the truth. We're gonna let you go. But did, didn't he admit it? Didn't he did say he it was he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said he admitted it. He did. Knowing he did. that it's death. Yeah, no, no, he, he admitted it because he tried to conceal it first. Because I know one would be like, yeah, yeah, well, it was me. I did. So he actually denied it. Yeah, in the beginning, they, they all do that. They would deny it. If, 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 if I'm not surprised, it. especially if it wasn't him. Yeah. No, no, no. But he, no, no, basically, he was saying, uh, basically, this is what happened. Blah, blah, blah. But later on. He said, uh, let's just say he, we can't say it wasn't him if we've got his name, his role, and where he lives. Like imagine if, if you were doing the same, if, if you were speaking through a girl. How do you know she didn't know where he lived? Because she, she, she doesn't even know the guy. Well, she's you, the you one know? who told you the address. Yeah, but it's not her she, speaking. She said she don't know. But we don't, it's we, her speaking. It's basically, her. I have no way of, of, okay. of qualifying okay. whether she knows him or not. Okay. I have no but way. But that's what she said. I mean, I've heard of the stories of like, you know, when you heard of like young girls who oh, are able to speak an ancient language, you know, that's way more convincing than your story. Okay. And even then, the scientists have tried to um, uh, uh, Man, clarify. Right. The, things, the thing I saw in Africa, and like, I just wish that you went there and witnessed it for yourself. I'm going to, you wish it's going to the become real. The problem is, what you're saying is, is very real, obviously, but it the problem very. is, it's an anecdotal evidence. What do you mean? In the sense that it's something that you... Second hand. Okay, second hand. It's second hand. I agree with that. Because it could I be, agree. what he's, I'm not even saying what he's saying is, is not true. I'm saying, how, how do I believe it? That's all I'm saying. No, you could be 100% right. That. I agree with and that. And why would a God, if this is if this is God doing these things or, al or allowing for these things, created this, these things, yeah. why would it do it in this way? I would never do this to okay, a, that, to, to something different. I created. Okay, that's, simple. I, that's me personally. That's a simple answer. Let me give you the simple answer. See, this world... Well, the answer should be you don't know. No, no, no. It no, should no, be. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Honestly, honestly speaking, see, this world... <laughs> see, this world, God set it in a way. It's like, it's like a gear. You know when you start a gear? It just keeps running. Yeah. Keeps we, we don't know that, but right. we'll assume that. You don't know that. You know what? You, it's a guess. What you just said no, is no a what, guess. No what? No what? That God set it in a certain way. You don't know. I'll tell know. you why I said that. I'll back it up with something else, but just listen to this. Okay. God said in a certain way yeah. that, you know, things are just, just things just happen. Things just happen. In the way they happen. Random. It was le it was left like that. It's, that's why we have free will in, in some way. But coming back to the point, yeah? Right. Now, the reason I, I do agree that you, you can't believe this because, you know, whatever you said, I, I agree 100%. It's not that I However, can't believe, it's just... How, yeah. yeah, because you don't know. I and just don't know, yeah. It. Exactly, thank you for being honest. But for you to know this, right, you can you have two choices in this. If you really want to touch or know about miracles, you either become highly religious, right, and try to understand things from the religious Which means point believing of, believe already. Believing in God, right? Okay, or, without the evidence. Or, or... You can go in a shortcut and go touch because the, the, the darkness is closer to the light in some way because for you right now, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so, so in other words, I can either believe without the evidence to believe no. or to find out or I can just go and touch the, the dark side which means what? That means, what does that, what does that mean, what does that mean scientifically? Go and do what? What would that mean? Go and go to South America and go on this holiday trip where All you get Mexico. to ingest ayu ayahuasca. Oh, no, 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 that that I actually want to do that. And I, if that's what your explanation was, I'm on it. No, I'm on it. That thing will mess you up, man. Cause is that that thing will mess you up? Yeah, I don't want to say on camera, but I'll tell you off camera later. And what about ayahuasca? Ayahuasca. All Apparently, it's not harmed anybody. Never oh, harmed anybody. Allah. You should, you should, I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. But this, okay. this, the thing is this, yeah? Now, the reason why I said this, right? I'm a Muslim, right? And I totally condemn voodoo rituals and all that stuff, 100%. Um, but the reason why I'm asking you to do it is because... <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm godless. Uh, it's because you're godless. Which I'm not godless. I, yeah. just, I admitted to the guy... Because you don't believe, because you, you're associating this being, I also got this... Uh, a deity or God, whatever, this great thing above us that created everything, that is not literally existing the way that we explain it. No, but the way however, you explain it, yeah, I still have a God yeah, though. But, but for you to understand, literally get a firm faith, right, it's for you to go touch the darkness. Because many men, 
many men who became the best Muslims, yeah. once upon a time, touched, they touched the darkness and they were but, like, But that, that's not the problem. The problem is, it will correct me if I'm wrong. Nelson doesn't have a problem with God or believing that there's a God. He doesn't have a problem. What he has a problem with is your concept of God, Islam, Muhammad. Okay, but we can explain. That's, that's the but we can explain. My, my con look, what, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. what Nelson believes about God. Not a problem, but just no, I have no evidence yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, but what Nelson believes about, you know what? Let me tell you something. You know, you know the first step to becoming a Muslim is to say, La ilaha. Do you know what that means? There, there is, is no real. God. Yeah. The first step to become a Muslim is to acknowledge that there, there are no gods. Yep. Once you acknowledge that there is no there are no gods, then you might then come to understand. You mean gods that, plural? Or, or gods. there's no gods. There's no gods. That's right. I thought it was there's no god where but, they work. No, no, Allah, but Allah, no, no, I thought it was no one but that what's one. It, what's it, what's it? So that what's the first step? There is no God. But once you acknowledge, because now you've, you've acknowledged there's no God, yeah. but then because you're still searching. Okay. Why am I here though? Why is the world, then after they'll be like, oh, but God. There's no God but God. Yeah, there's no God worthy of worship. So they realise they were you're, wrong. You're, you're, you're missing the point. He does, not just correct me if I'm wrong again. Yeah. He does not dispute that point about a God. Yeah. So that part's already done. Okay. Cool. Is yeah. getting him to your where you believe you have the truth, it's yeah. Islam through Muhammad. Where you, where you can't eat pork and and you can have three wives, but 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 a woman can't have three husbands. And, so it's like and it's, it's like you're a salesman. How are you going to sell Islam? Yeah. <laughs> Let me say it. Yeah. Because you know what, I used to work in sports direct. You look like a car salesman still. <laughs> <laughs> I've used a moustache. Yeah, I can sell to you anything, bro. I can sell your shoes to you, man. Come on, then. Sell my own shoes to me. Go I'm on. Joking. So, no, he, but he's right, though. It's, it's like, you, you, there's no need to try and convince me that there's a, something that there's a creator force. Yeah. I have no way of knowing. First and foremost, I kind of believe it because there's stuff that's created. So I've got to believe that something created what's here. That's fine. Something. Something. Something is energy, you said. To my understanding so far, because I'm an ignorant being. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's I don't good. know. That's good, that's good. Now, let's pick up from the, from what I know. I could be wrong, but you can correct me. Right? I'm glad you said that, because yeah. that's a humble thing to say. Yeah. You could now, be wrong. Now, you see, what I studied... You said and, you could be wrong. Now, in what, about stuff, <laughs> yeah, in, 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 in what I'm about to say right now, in what I'm about to say, not about Allah or anything, but yeah, okay. in what I'm about to say right now. Yeah. You see, the thing with energy, energy cannot create something. But energy is the source of creation. You understand? Yep, that's, that's why I understand exactly. the bit. Exactly. So you so energy is what was made to, out of creation. So you got energy. No, apparently you can't create it and you can't kill it. No, I know, but out you of energy. You can't destroy it and you can't yeah, create but it. Out of energy, yeah. like out of energy, you've got what we have. We have everything, yeah. That's been you know created. what I'm saying? So it was the source. Yeah, it's it's the only thing I can see that's the same way, the same as how people describe God. Exactly. It's the same kind it's, of thing. But you can't create God. God created everything. God's everywhere all at once. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what energy is. Yeah. But we have actually facts for to support that. Okay. So that's why so far, energy is my creator. I'm not going to say God. I'm just going to say energy. Uh, energy is my creator force. Can we, can we not say? Now, does energy not want me to eat pork? But okay, can you? Does can energy you, want me to read a book? Actually, not eating pork is good for you. Scientifically speaking. Now scientists are saying and encouraging people. Is it, it wait, 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 wait a minute. Does that not depend on the quality of the pig? No. Any pork. You can't eat any pork. So any you can't eat any, any pork. Pig, any pig. Why? I thought it was because it was uh, nasty because it eats his own shit. Scientifically speaking, yeah. because the diet of a pig is what it is. So if the diet of the pig is a healthy diet. Give me any pig. You see what I'm saying? But, no, no. If you rear a pig. Well, and, and it doesn't eat the nastiness that these people say a pig shouldn't eat, therefore, because if the pig's eating it, then you're eating it. I get the argument with the pig. It's nasty, it eats his own shit, all this kind of stuff. So if you, these people who have pigs as pets, if you feed pigs gourmet meals, right, or you feed it vegetables or whatever I've you want. I've never seen a pig that eats clean. People Wait have pets. Minute. People There's have pets. There's the thing pe in Islam that says if a Muslim is forced or oh, under yeah, stress yeah, duration, yeah. they could can eat then pork. Eat pork. If you're starving and shit, yeah. Because that's out of your will. Yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, will. okay. Yeah. But yeah, but come back to the point, yeah. But that would that would go against the uh, health argument because that would be your health. So, so, I, so I get that. Yeah. But in this day and age, we have a lot of most of our meat is a load of crap. 
right? Yeah. Most of my chicken. Apart from halal meat. No, because halal is just the way it sacrifices, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but it's yeah, got but nothing to do with. It, 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 some people say that you're not even supposed to eat meat. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even want to get into that yeah, argument. Anyways, but come back to the point because we need to right now. We need to speak about energy and all of this stuff and how. Okay, okay. How everything is in order. Now we do agree that everything was created from a certain source. Everything was made or everything came out of a certain source, which is energy. Energy so far for me. Okay. Could be something else. I now, know. let's just say, so are we, are we saying that this energy, for some reason, it just started and it put itself into order? Uh, only if you're saying that's what God did. No, no, no. Forget about God. We're not talking about God right now. Are you telling me this I don't know. The answer is I don't know. Because there's no way to go from there then. Of course there's not. Okay. All we have to do is learn. Yeah, but the as we uh, find the information, question, we learn. But the question is, if because energy, this, can we say energy is conscious? Uh, don't know. You I've don't heard know. it is, and I, and I, I accept the argument that the Earth, the the solar system, that we're a, bi a biosphere as a collective, is has many consciousnesses but it also is a collective consciousness and it all relies far from the camera, and, and, it, <laughs> and it all relies everything relies on everything else yeah. so the solar system relies on the galaxy the galaxy relies on the universe so on and so forth so i believe this whether it's a consciousness like how what we're experiencing i don't know i'd like to think that we're all the same consciousness we've just forgotten that we i've heard all that stuff i've no way to yeah, substantiate it see, that stuff, that's just romantic it yeah, just sounds exactly, nice yeah, yeah. That, that stuff is not scientific. just like god yeah. sounds romantic it yeah. sounds nice but i have no evidence for it yeah but okay now as a muslim i believe that god is neither a being nor is he close to a being any being you okay. can imagine whatever you imagine in your same mind, as energy so far then go on all right whatever you imagine in your mind is there but however god is living god but is living is living right living not existing living 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 god, what does living mean living means like god is existing no, but what does living mean living means existing because to live and exist is two different things a rock exists doesn't live okay something okay Living means you're conscious. You're able to okay. make decisions okay. and do things. You're highly conscious. This is what you believe, right? So, what, so my what I, what I call God, yeah. right, is a living being. What you believe, right? Conscious, yeah. Well, that's fine if you but, believe but, it, and you no, just believe now, it. Now, but this living being I'm talking about that you believe, yeah, in Islam, he or it. It. Thank you. I'm right? glad you said yeah, that. Yeah, because <laughs> then the day the people were saying he is because of. You know, uh, God this patriarchal is, yeah, thing that yeah, you yeah. was dealing with earlier, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it could be connected to that. But this is what we say. He also is because you know, like a father, he you know, he's he he, he feeds us. He does. But uh, mothers give birth to us and nurture us. Yeah, exactly. You which could, is more godly, I would say. Uh, I don't know. But coming back to the point. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> coming back to the point, yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that so, to, to, as a Muslim, yeah, I'm not allowed to even make an imagery of God. It's not allowed to make an image of God? No. Okay. Because to do that is selfish shit. Okay. Which means it's, it's, you leave Islam if you do that. You're yeah. not a Muslim. Yeah. Okay. You don't know what the image of God looks like though, do you? Because you know, if it, whether you know it or not. Yeah. Well, you can't. Obviously, we you don't know. You can't. Well, you then can't. You can, it's impossible for you to do that anyway. Exactly. So, so the idea that there's, there's a white man behind the clouds with white beard trying to, you know... Uh, 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 or, I, I didn't or, say or a white maybe, dude. Or maybe a black guy, or maybe an Indian guy in the clouds trying to be, or, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Krishna and all these people, yeah. right? You see, this is like, we're trying to carve God out of our own image. Yes, exactly. And we are we are worshipping our own selves. Yes. It's just what we do that. Yes. But if we said, you know what, how about this? There is, like you said, there is something greater, right? Whether it's conscious. I'll accept that. Or great. But we come from that. Okay. And from that great consciousness yeah. is whatever this uh, is, is, is the thing that formed us out of this, that, that's that put everything into so order. So you sound like me now. You yeah, sound like you because, don't know what because, it is. No, no, no. Because, no, no, no. because as, a Muslim, <laughs> as a Muslim, yeah. the only thing that we can associate with this thing yeah. or this God, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use your language so you can understand. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't talk like this as a Muslim, but as your language, anyway. Now, <clears throat> this being, or this thing, this creator, this... Uh, this, this this entity, I entity, don't know what it is. Let's call it entity, we don't know what it is, because we can't explain it. Right. Right? What we know about it is like, because of it, everything is in order. 
because of it, energy had to, you know, come out and ask, we're here now. Okay. But because of it, okay. we don't know how he f used energy to form this, because like you said, we can't take or add something out of energy, you know. We don't know how he did it, or it did it, mm -hmm. but it is. Yeah. So what I'm telling you is like, okay, I believe in that. Which I don't, which, 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 which yeah, you have no evidence, you have no idea, but you believe in it. That's fine. Yeah, and the reason why I believe in it is because the way life is set, and I explained this earlier last time as well, like it's something as simple as a bee has an effect, has an effect on the planet yeah. if we, if, if we went extinct. Yeah. Even spiders, we think the spiders are not doing nothing, but without spiders, there will be a lot of parasites in the whole. So we're in accordance world. so far with everything, yeah. and everything you've told me, I already know. Yeah, so basically, so where, so so where do we, where do we go from there? Everything being mathematically arranged. There is a, there's a reason why we are in the perfect spot for life. There's a reason why we exist in this. And you know something about the Quran? Is that for, certain, for so long time, it's been way ahead of science. I'll tell you this. Number one, before people knew about the effect of, the, the effect of bees on this world, yeah. God spoke about it a long time ago. You right? believe? Now, is, is it in the Quran? Okay, let's let's okay, let's call that. Let's you, pull, you let's know, pull, let's pull, let's You okay. said you don't know. Didn't I, I thought you said you didn't know what God was. No, no. I said because we don't we can't explain God. Right. So and how we can't we can't form it out of our own. So image. you don't know whether God can speak. Can speak, but ah, oh, that's a nice one. But at the end of the day, speech is just vibration, and the whole entire universe vibrates. Do you know whether God can speak? Vibration is speech. Do you know whether God can vibrate? Everything vibrates in the universe. No, but do you? But God isn't the the universe, though, is no, it? No, no, oh well, no, according no. to you, everything is vibration. I agree. For example, I accept. For example, that we know of. I'll give you an example. There was a time uh, 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 Solomon's army was marching. This is from the Quran. And yeah, another and fictitious the ants, character. Yeah, and the ants said, and the ants said, get out of the way before you get crushed by Solomon's army. Now, something that you need to understand here: the ants spoke. And we have it in English. So I've heard the what's, stories. What's it, what's it here? But I need, I need you to you hear had a, You had a bird that was a general of the army. Wait, 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 wait forget that. But what I'm trying to say... <laughs> is that true though? The, but let's, let's, let me just... <laughs> I'm going somewhere with this. Just yeah, 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 yeah. So the ants spoke and they said a word. But we understood it in, 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 a, in a human vibration yeah. sound. Yeah, I've heard the story. But at that time, mm -hmm. the ants did not speak in the human vibration sound. Yeah. They spoke in their own vibration code. Yep. And so, by we just what, interpreted it. It's interpreted by yeah, whatever. Fine. Now, now, yeah. coming back to the main point, vibration. Because yeah. you said, did God speak? Uh, 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 what was it called? Our language. Yeah, only because you said God told us. Yeah, so. That's why I, I now, said that. Now, whatever vibration that God uses it, it could be formed, into, like it could be, you know, transferred to us through humanly vibration. And then take funny how, and then take funny how we keep getting. D depending on which human it is, we get different vibrations, yeah. or we get different interpretations of what God's word is. Yeah, but at the end of the day, how when incompetent, you, when you look, how incompetent when is you that look, God? When you look, when see you, my when you look at the whole world that believe in a God or yeah. God and how chaotic it is. Yeah, and God. <coughs> what you need to understand is that they all have the main God, the one that they don't get rid of. The, Who the, does? Like every religion, okay. every religion that believe in a God or right. gods. There's always the God above, the greater. Okay. Christianity, you've got the Father. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Hinduism, you've got, I think, is it? Is it um, Krishna, whoever. No, no, not Krishna. Krishna, Krishna is the demigod. Shiva. Yeah, Vishnu, I think. Yeah, it was none of those, yeah? Any religion, they've got the, the, the higher, the greater God. Yep, let's right? say that. Which is the internal. Even in a pantheon, there's the heads of the pantheon, yep. Yeah. Now, no problem. Now, the re there's a reason why that is. But come back to the point, because I'm trying to explain this. What's through, the reason? Through, 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 your, through your mentality now. The, the, the thing I was trying to explain to you is that, yeah. you see, the way the world is set, right? So it's God or it's this entity that has formed it the way it is. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The way the, so hold on, so you just broke that down as the way the world is, did you say formed or right? Or the way the world the, is? The way the whole, whatever we're in right now, whether okay. it's the universe, the galaxies. Okay. You see, the way everything The system is, of laws yeah, and all that kind of thing. Everything is yeah. in order. Okay. So we can't say, Energy automatically said, ah, I think Earth should be right there. Oh yeah, the sun should be a bit further. I agree. We you can't say that the same way we can't say our God said that either. But there has to be... I agree. But there has to be an influence within the energy to cause that. 
Um, I agree. Let's say I accept that. Yeah, I but, just don't know what it is. You don't know, but whatever that is that you don't know what it is, yeah. is what you we call God. Fine. And that's what we worship. That's fine. Is that but correct or wrong? That's cool. But, but how do you get to how do you get from how do you get from that to a book that tells me to do this okay. and that? No, that's that's okay. But first, let's agree to just, let's agree with this. No, I have. I've gone. With, I've gone with you so far. So, so you accept the fact that that thing or that it yep. that caused the energy to form the yes. shape of our Yes, something it is. caused the energy to do that. I, let's I, call I, I that God. And I worship that. Yeah, but how do I get to the Quran with that? Okay, that's 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 a good question. You, you which damn I right. Have, which I don't have a lot excellent of, question. I know which I don't have much knowledge of it. I could make mistakes by trying to answer this. I'm I'll glad try, you said that. I'll try the best to my knowledge. Yeah, yeah it's humbled for you to say. Man. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, like, cause then there, there are people who are watching me, right? Mm -hmm. Kids, and I don't, wanna, I don't want to mislead them, right? But coming back to the point, yeah. But behind camera, I would like to you all the time. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's, just, it's just what you believe based on it's, it's what makes sense to you yeah, yeah that's the way i would drop it yeah, and yeah. i don't even believe but yeah. i would just say it's something that just makes sense to you no no and no, no, no. it has to be let me tell you something about myself here if i'm gonna do something or i'm gonna follow something or believe in something i have to have a reason yeah because god says uh think in the quran think reason thoughts aql, all of that so uh -huh. it's all to do with the mind uh -huh. and the heart so i have to follow the rules now why do we have the quran first of all the Quran was never written as a book to begin with. Spoken, yeah. It was spoken mm -hmm. and it was memorized. It was yeah. only something that was in the memory. Allegedly. Right? Uh, I wouldn't say allegedly. Well, we have no proof. Um, we have a proof. I'll tell you how we have a proof. Go on. Because the Sahabas or, or the Prophet's uh, 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 companions, because yeah. we pray five times a day. Yeah. And to pray Which five has changed, isn't it? Because it used to be different no, no. amounts of time. What's, what's it used to be here? like, did it used to be 50 or no, 20 or no, something no, no, it's not, originally? It's not. it's not. I'll explain that to you in a bit. Let me explain this to you. There was, uh, so we pray five times a day. Each, each prayer, you can't, be, you can't pray a Salah without knowing the Quran. So you have to know at least five, six, seven surahs right. to pray. Right. So you imagine you're praying this five times a day. How does that prove that it was that it, it was, was memorized? Yeah, books are memorized. So, so, no, so no, no, no. I'm, me, not, no, no. I'm so, not arguing that books aren't memorized. No, no. I'm, I'm what I'm you, arguing is I'm telling the start. I'm telling because this is a history why it was written down. Okay. Right. Now, for me to pray, I have to know the Quran, and for me of to course. Quran, I have to memorize it, and that's why it was easy of for course. the Muslim to memorize the Quran. We cannot deny this evidence. That's the evidence. To memorize certain parts. No, the whole Quran. The whole Quran. They you know, actually, you memorize the whole were, Quran. I'm a half it. I finished the Quran two times. You you memorized yeah. it. I was, I was, I was so you can recite the Quran yeah, now all yeah, the way through? Yeah. You know most Muslims can't do that, right? I wouldn't say most, but some Muslims can't I would say that. most Muslims. I wouldn't say just most. Like how, Maybe, just I'm, like I'm, how I'm, many I'm, Muslims I'm, I'm, can't I'm, even speak Arabic. Most Muslims well, you can't don't have recite to speak that. Arabic to be a Muslim. Um, no, I know you don't. I'm just, and you don't have to remember, recite, you don't have to memorize the whole uh, by, you, Quran you, to be I, Muslim. Like, at least you have to know some. Yeah, of course. Least. But I, I, I memorize the Quran. Of course, you, but that's exceptional. Can you recite for us Surah al fatiha yeah, you want it? Right. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, get it in English now. Because otherwise, there's no point. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All grace is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. The most merciful, the most gracious. Malik Yawmiddin, King of the last day when the world ends. Okay. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. It's you alone that we worship and you alone that we follow. Ihdina Sirat al Are you confirming this? Yeah. Do you yeah. even know? I'm taking his word for it. Oh, so yeah, I'm, so I'm just, telling you. But go on, go on, you might as well. It, people would correct yeah, me yeah, yeah. you can read the comment later. No, I, 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 yeah. I believe it. I was going to ask you something yeah. different though, but go on. Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Guide us to the straight path. Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim. Uh, to the path that you have. Uh, uh, okay. And Amta Alayhim to the path that you've guided. Alayhim, uh, like, uh, sorry, Surat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim to the path that you guided for those that you were pleased with. Yeah. Ghayr al Maghdubi Alayhim wa la Dalin. And it's keep us away from the path of those that you, that caused your anger or that you're not happy with. That's good word, good words so far as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, like, there's a, like there's a lot in the Christian Bible that can be taken, that's great. Yeah, but right? alhamdulillah, you know, it's like it's come from, it's come from the family. But the point yeah. I'm trying to But make how do we get from that, from, from there being truths? and there being good words in the Quran and the Bible, how do we get from that to it's the word of an entity we know nothing about? Okay, 
Now, for us to prove, or for us to say, because right now, right now, we have come to a certain agreement that the it or the what that made the everything, everything that we know of, yeah, which is because it has to have conscience for it to decide. Because for all we know, God's yeah, got a dad and a mom and yeah, a grandma. Yeah. No, for no, all we no. know, uh, no, we, for all we know, okay, we don't know. Okay, okay, let's not get it. Let's, let's let's keep our level. We have to. Let's be at the level. It, this is philosophy, by but the way. I, I know, but let's be, let's keep it at, at, at a normal level. Just stay with me for a bit, because I'm trying to have a direction for this. Yeah. Okay. So the it or the what that caused the energy. That Your direction from. is my conversion, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, whatever, whatever caused it, right? That it, it has to be conscious for it to decide one day to cause this. That I don't know. But it has to be. That I don't know. Because for me to decide, right now I'm sitting here, right, and I want to do. I, I was here for a while. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna walk away. That's the because I'm conscious that I was standing in a one place for a long time, and now I have to do another thing. You understand? Also. No. What do you mean? How? No, I, I, I agree with, I've heard the Quran, uh, um, the Quran being read to say that we, can, we do Quran not right know now. and we can never, un, we Akeem, can never know God or understand its intentions. Yeah, so I agree with I that. Know, but I know, but no, we don't know as what a Muslim, the, yeah. we agree that God right, is, conscious, is a conscious being. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but now what I'm trying, I just says, I, I try I to understand my uh, train of thought, yeah? The it. No, I understand your. I understand why you. Yeah, but okay, that. okay. This has to have an has to have consciousness. It has to, because there's no any other way out. Because for it to decide, because it's a decision being made. Because these are two separate things. If that's what's happening. Yeah, but these are two separate things. If that's what's happening, there is I understand you. Yeah, yeah, thought. but th there's a, there's the it. There's the what that's here, and there's the energy that's here, right? So the what decided to do. I'm like, okay, what? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Maybe. Okay, let's, let's, let's stick it to maybe because that's, that's close enough to yes. Now, <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, now in the Quran, this is where, this is where now we're going to get a bit, because for us to, to confirm that the Quran comes from the what that we're talking about, yeah, we have to phrase it, it has to have the answers to, to creation, to how, to why things are in order or not. Right? Because it says I'm from what? I'm from God. I'm from the ever whatever that caused the energy to form. Yeah. Alright, whatever that made the energy to form, tell us everything now because there are knowledge that we want to know. Now, the Quran talks about, for example, it talks about, you know, uh, let's, 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 let's go to the galaxies, yeah? The Quran talks about planets. For example, it says that there are, uh, it, talks, it, talks, it talks about heavens, right? There are seven heavens, meaning spaces, right? And uh, in each space, there are counts of universes, right? So it says seven heavens, and within those seven heavens, there are seven earths like our earth. Okay. Parallel, now we're talking about parallel worlds. It's a, a theory that we have today. Parallel, parallel worlds. It's a theory that we have. That's a theory, that's literally. Okay. Parallel it's not, universes, it's not exactly. Yet. It's not yet. Exactly, and if it really was the word of something that knows everything, why would it just say it in a, in a manner that was actually accurate? And that, precise. Yeah, but that's accurate and precise. Nope, no? it's not accurate and precise. How is it not? Like, for example, when is when he was talking about. Um, now let's stick to this one right now. Why is the one what I said right anyway, now? Not precise? Nothing. Yes, you 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 know you know the right time to leave. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so boy. Is this you're talking to? It's, it's deep, but it's kind of not going. It yes, bro. Now it's going it's, it's, because it's not really. you choose to go. Because no, do you know what it is? There's nowhere to go with it because... Now, wait, let's, let's not digress, come back to you. Why do you think what I just, the verse I just quoted is not... Alright, let me get, I'll, I'll just say it straight then. <coughs> There's things that we know about the universe, precisely, in terms of atoms. We know things about the solar system and the galaxies and even the universe. So far in intricate detail. The Quran never mentioned anything about these intricate details and it was very vague in its explanation of these it things. It does, it does. Right? It does. No, it, it does what? It does you. vague or it does mention the intricacies and detail of, of... Of what? Give me an example. Of the sun, of the moon, um, of the rotation. How about, how about, yeah, for the, example, how about the galaxy, how the galaxies rotate? Should I bring it out? How about what? How about what? The, the, the galaxies, you know, our, our galaxy. Yeah. What the Quran says about the galaxy, should I bring it out? How it rotates what? How the sun rotates around, uh, sorry, uh, how the earth rotates around the sun yeah. and everything, and also the sun itself. And then, and then the now, solar system goes around the galaxy, and then the galaxy goes around the universe. You see now. Show okay, me where it says that. Or the makeup of atoms. I'll show you to you. I'll show or, you. I'll show, it's, the atoms is there as well. Atoms. The makeup of atoms. Yeah, I'll show, you show me the makeup of atoms. Now, 
Now, but before I get because into that, if it could, if it could do that, we would be able to use the Quran to create technology, but we can't. Okay. Because it doesn't explain it. Um, okay, now, now it doesn't explain it like a science book explains. But it does not. Look, uh, let me tell you something. You see, Allah says in the Quran, yeah, that this this writing, this revelation, yeah. is only but a reminder. Okay. It's to remind you, or to make, or, or to make you, or to, to build an idea in your mind yeah. that there is such thing as this. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, even that there is a hadith that says, uh, uh, use the Quran. Right, use the Quran as your uh, so use the world as your map. Right. So so use the Quran as your map and, yeah. and and the world as your territory. Right. Right. So by by looking at the Quran, you yeah. can go around the world and do the research. But why, why does the Quran tell? No. Why does it need to tell you to go and do example, the research? For example, it should no, no, tell wait, you. Wait, what's that, what's that, what's that? Another proof is that look, the Arabs they they had no knowledge of science, or they were not civilized. <clears throat> However, as soon as the Quran was given to them. Up now very, they had very. questions and they, they they became one of the greatest empires in the world you understand so that that tells well, you well it wasn't one, one empire was one it? of the most it wasn't really one, one empire, of the most one well, of the most yeah. famous scientists yeah. right who was who first created the islands and all this stuff right yeah. uh, uh it's from islam right? yeah he was a muslim I, 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 and he was a proper he was jailed for what he was doing and yeah, he was okay. a proper muslim and he yeah. followed the quran just right. like, just like there were Christian ones who did the same thing, right? Like Galileo and Copernicus and yeah. that, right? So, the thing, so, okay. so, the so, and you know, and you know what now, they do? The do you Quran, know what they do? Wait, the Quran, they go outside of their religion yeah. to create these, to to understand the world around them. They go outside, and then what happens is, is the, the religious authorities then start pulling them down and start to um, the religious authorities aren't in a, in agreement with what they're doing and what they're saying, and they end up persecuting them. That's okay. my understanding. Now, show me, oh, show now, me any now, of these sites. Now, now, now the thing is this. Okay, any now, of okay, it. Let, let me let me make something clear to you. The Quran is only there. It's, it's like a spark. Look, if, if you have what's it, brother? If yeah. you have if you have a gasoline, yeah. and wood, yeah, and you've got a match, what do you need to start that fire to keep burning? If you got a gas, if you got gasoline, you got, gasoline, you got you a put match, it, you put it on the you put and you got wood, wood. You, got, you put the gasoline on the wood. Yep. What do you need to start that fire? A light. Once you put Spark on the light, what level. happens? The, uh, the, the combustion. Flame, yeah, the flame goes on, right? Yeah. And you can use that fire for a few hours. Is that your analogy no. to say that he's, he set some, or it set something in motion, gave you an idea, and then you got to find it out for yourself? Is exactly. that what you're going to say? Yeah. Well, that's a cop out. That's well, a cop out. Not, that's, like, a, that's, like, that's like saying um, to a child, here's some pasta, here's a cooker. I've no. I, that's like I, saying no, no. That's that's like saying to a you child. You work it out no, no, yourself. No. This, that's like saying to a child, "Here's a pasta and here's the ingredient, and there's the fire." No, it's not giving you all the ingredients though. Okay, okay. As it explained, how okay. the cooker here, works. Here, here it is, it's here done here none it is. of that. Here it is. This is our uh, surah ten sixty one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now it says. Okay. So he's explaining the words for you. Yep. Nucleus in Arabic means nawat. Yep. Right. So the Quran says that God split the nucleus. This means that the atom is not the smallest particle. Okay. Quran eleven says. Whatever you may be doing, and whatever portion you may be reciting from the Quran, and whatever did you be you may be doing, we okay, we do witness. Yeah, so what, one's not even part of the other part. Wait, one sec, yeah. One's talking about the atom and then one's talking about wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. That's God's that's intentions. That's a different thing. We've got to do something different. Like so Allah's saying that the the, the atom is not the smallest part. Wait, what wait, wait, wait. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. What's the point in that if you're not gonna explain what an atom is and what it does and what it's used for? And how it makes okay, up. Okay, and here things. it is. Look, surely Allah wrongs not anyone, even so much as the weight of an atom. And if there is a, and if there be be a good deed, and that, that's one of them. There's another. The one weight here. of an atom. Atoms weigh different weights, don't they? Yeah, but even oh, a no, weight don't, of no, an don't. atom. No, 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 Whatever this is, it's it said like, even it, the weight of an atom. How is someone from two thousand years? How is someone from a thousand years ago going to even understand what the see, hell for, that's for, for example, talking about? For example, look, uh, the Quran talk about the embryo and how the baby is formed. I've right? heard that. It's what the yeah. gum, the gum thing? No, no, no. no, no it doesn't explain it properly. No, no, it, no I'll, sh I'll show it to you right now. Go uh, for it's it. not the gum thing. That's, you got it totally wrong. Okay. But the point of this, yeah, there are a lot of things in the Quran, right, in Arabic that yeah. the people in the past did not understand it the way okay. we understand it today. Yes. You understand? Because they thought. 
maybe it was meant for something else. For example, uh, when God talks about you know the cow milk and and how you know the glands and every detail. When who talks about that? Uh, the Quran talks about the, the you know the cows. You know you know their their, their breasts. No, nope. the others. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever that is, yeah, I call them breasts. Well, <laughs> they are breasts, I suppose, <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, but uh, it talks about um, uh, the, the the glands and how the milk is formed in the Quran. Right? Really? And yeah. it, just, it talks about it exactly the way a yeah. science book does, a biology book does. Well, let's see in it. You decide for yourself. Okay? No. But first, first, let's go to the embryo, right? Let's go to the embryo. Quran. Well, do one thing. There's no Quran. point in Quran. showing the loads of stuff. Wait, you, have to, you have to see this, man. One sec. Yeah, that's what I mean. Show me, show me the one thing. Alright, there we go. Look. Because uh, there, was, there was something else I wanted to do as well, but it's getting late, man. Uh, I know. This, this is the last one, right? Um, I guess I'll show it to you something. Okay, here it is. How much time is on it? Uh, I've been recording for three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. How much time is left? Uh, if I tell you... If, if you tell me what? Another, if I tell you, are you going to still carry on? No, I, I wanted to do... Because I was supposed to speak to the Irish dude, didn't it? Uh, and no, I want, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, I know, he's gone. But So he just says, just do it, my, do it by myself. I was just going to do a quick... Uh, Kind of a presentation, I suppose. It's still, is it bloody hell? So got plenty of time. Like then. One hour as as much as my body heat will allow me to finish. Yeah, I want to talk about these pygmies of England, man. That's what I want to talk about. <laughs> and Ireland and Scotland and thing. And I want to talk about how the pixies, fairies, elves and dwarves are apparently real. Okay. Is it true about the story? Um, that 6,000 years ago, Turkish farmers oh, went okay. to the island. Is that um, I don't know. That sounds like the Cheddarman situation. Uh, okay. Where, um, yeah, that sounds good. Go on, go now, on. now, scientifically speaking, you do agree that all life comes from stardust or earth. Yeah, that's what they say atoms are, right? Yeah, but, yeah, at the end of the day. Because yeah. we need a bacteria, because the bacteria to come down to earth to form whatever it is. Okay. You need the bacteria, so the soil, whatever. So you need soil for life. We're all made out of what? Yeah, biochemical material. Which is soil. Dirt. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, he says, we created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Okay, like drop of sperm, firmly fixed in the womb. Okay. That you're assuming that? Well, Okay, you're assuming okay, well, that. Okay, okay, what's that? What's that say? You're let putting me, let, words into let, the let me, finish, let, me, let me finish, let me finish. Then we made the drop into an alaqa. You know what an alaqa nope. is? Alaqa is an embryo. Right. Okay. Because this is Arabic, you have to... Okay, it says leech, suspended thing, and blurred clot. Right, but so, they... Okay, but blood, let's, let, okay let's, this is stuff that humans already knew anyway. Yeah, but... Oh, what's that, what's that, a blood clot, obviously no human knew... Yep. ...that when... Yes, they did, because of miscarriages. No, 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 we're talking about blood clots. Yes. So, so you're telling when me... you know that from wombs and you know it from animals and miscarriages, you know when something is pregnant, you can see all the stages through human development for thousands of years, we've been able to tell from, uh, from uh, the stages of fetuses. Is it? Okay, now let's... Well, let's that's true, isn't it? Okay, one second, one second. Yeah, you need to be a breeder to understand that stuff. You have to be. All right. Uh, we have to be very technical with this. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that, okay, now, as you can see, he says, look, he's um, trying to prove to me that um, the, the Quran is... is uh, huh? What are you preaching? What am I preaching about? I'm preaching about Somalianism. You have to be a Somali to believe. I'm not Somali. <laughs> You're not Somali. I'm not. No, that was but early. He's just, he's just showing the science religion. in the Quran. There's, the religion there's no religion called Somali. What, what no, religion? there's a, my religion, Somali, Somalianism. Somalia, I'm, I want to Somaliaize the whole world. You want to come join me? I'm joking. I'm Muslim. I'm a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, that was it really. Well, uh, basically, okay, now let's speak about what you said, uh, yeah, you basically. Uh, huh? Yeah, so the embryo thing, there was no knowledge that we know of, unless you bring it to me from a certain historical time before Christ, right, that explains how the embryo is formed. For example, for, for, as we know, once the sperm hits the embryo, the embryo turns into something like a clot of blood and, and then also slowly the baby forms, right? Okay. There, there are whole verses that explain the way the baby forms into all its stages. Okay, so, all of it. so can't we just get Islamic scientists to just say, not Islamic scientists, can't we just get scientists to say, do you know what, mm, based on what's in that Quran... Well, we do have scientists that actually say that. 
based on what's in that Quran, can we get scientific experts to just accept and concur and agree? Should I show it to you right now? There's what? actually a famous scholar. No, who no, not that. one or two. Why don't you, you can't you go to well, a hospital the the day, and they say, you know what? Living, that's like our, well, that's like our medical books. Nelson, Nelson, you have to understand. We're living in a world where Islam is vilified. So even whether you're a scientist or not, not, you in, are, not in Islamic countries, it's not. Well, in it's not uh, everywhere. Well, in Islamic countries, yeah. we do have videos of scientists, even in Arabia. Do you know how many scientists that went to Islamic wars and became a Muslim? Yeah. Scientists. Okay. Right? Just by just by seeing the explanation of the Quran, they had no any other argument. Right? The Quran talks about the galaxy. You know, you know the sun. Yeah. Before science knew about the earth, rotate because the scientists say that the sun rotates around the earth. Yeah, but we knew that the Earth rotated around the sun before there was a Quran. No. No. What do you mean no? No. Give me an error. Give me an error. Give you error. an error. Yeah? Give me an error where they believed that, or that was recorded that they believed that. The Sumerian oh. description. Oh, you don't like that? Mesopotamia. Well, there isn't. There isn't. 4000 BC. There isn't. Well, is it the four, only let's evidence. Say, let's wait, say 2000 wait, BC. The latest or the earliest evidence that we have about this, the solar system is, however, the, uh, the sun yeah. rotating around the earth, not the earth rotating around the sun. So they they, even, pre they even predicted the amount of even, planets. Even when, when the Quran said that actually the, 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 uh, what's it called? the earth rotates around the sun, the so-called scientists at that time, they were laughing at it. They were like, what? This, this thing is bollocks, right? And then also there was a time in the European what's countries. What's your date? Yeah? What's your date for that? What do you mean? What are you talking about now? What's your yeah, you were talking about like uh, maybe let's say a thousand years from now. Two thousand, yeah, a thousand years from now. A thousand years ago. A thousand years ago, before uh, what, uh, wait, what time was Galileo's time again? Uh, about fourteen, fifteen, maybe sixteen hundreds. Yeah, so you're saying. Thousand four hundred. So you're saying. So um, even pr prior to Galileo, because okay. yeah, prior to Galileo. So so because Islam, so, Islam is so two thousand five hundred years old. Okay, so when right. you see the Sumerian descriptions or diagrams where they've got a star in the middle and then the planets around circling them. But, I'm just saying, but, 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 I, I'm, I'm saying. People, I'm telling you, people had an idea of the galaxy. But they didn't right. know what rotates around what. But I'll tell you one thing, there's one thing that science haven't proven yet about the galaxy. And we shall wait, because right now, what they believe is that the Earth rotates its own axis okay. and the, on the Sun. Okay. And the Sun also, you know, has a fixed okay. stand. What's, 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 what's they said that the, 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 the Sun yeah. has a fixed stand, like okay. it's not moving. However, you know what the Quran says? The Quran says that the sun is moving towards a direction, right? Nothing is fixed. We don't know the speed of it, but everything, but you've got, you've got everything spiraling around the sun, okay. like the planets I'm talking yeah. about. And also the planet, the sun is moving in a certain direction. Do you know it's what that's called? Fixed. What? It's called a procession of the equinox. What was that? I don't know what that is. Because show me that the Quran talks about a procession of the equinox. It talks Obviously, about. I can't it talks give you in details, but, but it you, talks but about the fact that it sounds fact, like you're talking the about a galactic. Now nah, the so. fact that you understood what I am saying, yeah. whatever, whatever, what you're about to say is a fact or not, right. gives you the idea that you know, you know. No, maybe. but this was developed BC. Oh, okay, go on. Tell Procession me of the that. equinox is tell how you got that. the zodiacs and all that kind of stuff. Okay, tell me about that. The zodiac. The zodiac. Do you even know the zodiac? Mayan calendar. Yeah, but there's, the zodiacs have nothing to do with the sun moving no, and, the zodiacs, everything, and everything rotating the around the sun. The zodiacs are how you measure time. Oh, time was about, measured oh, by the time. Egyptians thousands of years ago, okay. thousands of years before. Time the, was, measured, was measured at the time of Adam, let's say that. Time is, you could just look at the sun. The, really, sun you, the sun was the, well, the sun was there the time. There is no time of Adam. You can't, no, no. there's no I'm, date I'm for that. I'm giving you an example. Time itself, the yeah. invention of time, yeah. the first time that time was mentioned was the use of the sun and shadows. What was the date? Bro, throughout, throughout, since humanity had, what was it called, was it since humanity started being intelligent and being a star yeah, what's civilization? The date? Okay, we could, we could say Mesopotamian, we could, we could go back even more back, we could, right. we could say the start of Egypt. Egypt so, if we, so are you saying. All civilizations, so you, uh, right? Starting from the number one BC, let's go back to number one BC. Right? 1 BC. 1 BC. Modern right? history, yeah, go yeah. on. Or, or we can go back to uh, one, tr what's it called? How long has human beings lived? Yeah, but what I'm talking about the moments that human beings start having consciousness, that they were able to decide what they want. And you know, they were intelligent, like intelligent humans. Right? Okay. <clears throat> Time, it was the easiest, or the, one of the first things that they were able to uh, 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 you know, come up with was time, right? And the reason why that is, all they had to do is measure 
that means that we, yeah. The sun, the shadows. So they don't need the Quran. Then. I want to see what he what says you mean? about. If they can do these things that's a anyway, no, no. they don't need the Quran. No, no, sometimes there are things the Quran only tells you about things. How did they, how did they find out the earth was curved? How did they find out that the earth? Who found out? How did we find out as humans that the earth was curved? When did we find out? When? When did we find that? We found that when we worked out the procession of the no, equinox. At the time, okay. at the, at the you time, told me then. The reason why Galileo was killed because he said the earth is round. Now he was killed because he says the earth. Well, yeah. I, I don't know about the round shit. No, he, he said he said the earth was round. That's what he was killed for. And and this time people used to believe in a flat earth. Come on, man. He was. Uh, I, I, my understanding of it is that he was saying that the earth went round the sun, orbited and, and, and the please sun. Please don't tell me the Mayans believed in the, what's it called in, in the whole galactic system, the sun rotating around the uh, sorry, the earth rotating around the sun and the sun moving towards a certain direction on on because uh, everything is a flow, it is a galaxy, everything is moving and rotating. Right. You understand? So right. you don't have that in the Mayan calendar. The Mayan calendar only tells you how to use the sun uh, as a time mean, as a means of time. To measure time through the sun, shadows. That's why even when you go to uh, what do you call these big rocks? It's in, to do in, with in, the, in I, again. I keep going back to a procession of the equinox where you work out galactic years. Ah, uh, there's no okay. There is. It's not the same. As what? Well. It's not the same as what I'm, we're talking about. We're talking about something more. It's like it's like it's like you're making this conversation more tiring right now. Okay, <laughs> because you're tired. <laughs> I am kind of I'm kind of tired still because we're, we're well, kind of not getting anywhere because nah, because you don't want to get to somewhere. No, right, we, I thought we already I'm, did. I'm, we, we got as I'm far as what we could do. I'm talking about I'm talking about a certain thing, but then your mind is, is fixed on something that's not even got to do with what I'm talking about. My, my point is, uh, you know what it is. I, I think you don't understand the things I'm talking about, Bro, and, I, you, and you're trying to make the Quran fit into since, what I'm talking since, about. Since you since tried to explain to you that uh, the, uh, the acronym, like you know, use for example, look, they'll tell you this is Venice. Uh, that star is that name. Yeah. Uh, when the, when that star goes there, then that means this is gonna happen. Okay. To measure time, I okay. understand that. But we're talking. No, that's about not that's not how they measured time. Oh, that that's not how they measured galactic years. How did they that's not how they worked out. It was curves. Uh, uh, the planet they was never, curved. They, no, they, the only the furthest they got as human beings is that the Earth was round and we were under a dome. That's 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 the furthest they got. There was no round earth. Well, it's not a dome. But, but to me, right now, as a Muslim... Hold on, so you're saying before Islam, there was no concept of a spherical planet? No, there wasn't. Well, then... There wasn't. There's only one way to do this then, isn't there? Yeah. Maybe if you have Let's any... just Google it, man. Okay, go on. You know, you know, I don't need to tell you. Let's Google it, and then I want to have this quick... <laughs> Thing with the camera, I'm gonna present do this other thing. Uh, um, oh, Who came up with the first theory of a spherical planet? I should have put what time actually to be fair. So, what's this doing? Oh, that's on map. <laughs> that's how cold I am. Trying to go back in time, no? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go. Out. This is a brand new phone as is well, so I don't even know. Samsung is my favorite. A seventy, man. Something in it. Yeah. Which one is that? N ten. Uh, when was the first theory of a spherical planet? According to American Physical Society. Five hundred BC, Pythagoras. And that ain't even the first, first, first either. Oh, Pythagoras. Yeah. Mainly on aesthetic Pythagoras. Oh, than proposed. On any physical evidence. And do you know who Pythagoras? Do you know? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, we have to understand. All right. Now, this man. Do you he, know who he no, was? No, no. Wait, wait. I know Pythagoras. The guy that invented the, what was it called, the, the shapes and all that stuff. He was a geometric. Yeah. He, he was the master of geometry. I know this guy. Well, no. He was the master of geometry, and no, this guy. Well, no. What? He learned that stuff from somewhere else. Yeah, but we know he did though. He had to go uh, uh, all over Egypt there, 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 there to get this information. It wasn't only one place. That's what I'm trying to and say. He, he got was, that from Africa. Uh, yeah, but he, no, he, this, he went to school this idea, in Africa. No, this idea that he's saying, look, yeah. you have to understand the, the, the text. Is it before the Quran? Huh? Is it before the Quran? Is it before the Quran? Yes. That's all I was saying. But is it before the Torah? No. Is that before the Torah? When no. did the Torah say that it was the... The now, Torah doesn't say that the thing is spherical. Yeah, but okay, we'll come back to that. And it say. should do if it knows yeah, what the. You see, by the way, Pythagoras yeah. was not scientist. 
right? What was he? He was a spiritual I leader. Pythagoras was a spiritual leader. Just have a look. I'm just read. I want to read. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. But I'm telling you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about him. Yeah, this guy was a spiritual leader, and he everything he did, he had a religious point of view behind it. Right now. As you can see here, it I says... I think you're talking like Newton and them and how they had religion as well as being scientists. Yeah, so now what he says this year, it says on a... How do you spell that? I know what it means, but how do you say it? Aesthetic. Aesthetic grounds rather than on a physical evidence. Do you know what aesthetic is? Aesthetic, yeah. Yeah. So it's not, it's not like... He wasn't saying that the earth was literally round, but he was showing it from a, uh, a, a, a spiritual point of view. It's first proposed a spherical earth mainly on aesthetic grounds rather than on any physical, physical evidence. evidence. Okay, okay. Like many like Greeks, many Greeks yeah, he yeah. believed that the sphere was the most perfect shape. Because okay. you know why? Because this guy, he, he, he studied ge sacred geometry. And for someone to study sacred geometry, because when you look at cause sacred geometry, complements so much about, what's it called? Um, it has actually been known that the earth was round since the time of the Greeks, physically. I believe it was Pythagoras that's who first answer. proposed. No, no, but that's that's someone's answer, brother. It's not. It's not like you have to. Look, it says star child. But it's this, yeah. It's yeah, this site. Do you want to go onto the site or do, do yeah, you? people. Want it's people that ask questions. The question was who figured out, and then someone random answers that. So we don't know Since whether the time that, of the ancient Greeks. See me. To be fair, I yeah, think, the it's, even, it says the I think it's even before that. It says uh, Pythagoras. Around 350 yeah. BC. The great Aristotle uh, declared that the Earth was sphere based on observations he made, but to do with the constellations, which is what I was talking to you about earlier. Okay. If you look at the stars, you can tell that it's, worth, it's that we're going around. And that was my last point. That was it. That's all I wanted to make. Okay. I'm we should we should continue. I'm okay. Next week, well, I'm, I'm, we have to because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Because then you can bring stuff, and I can bring some stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that will be good. But the point I'm trying to make is this: yeah, uh, 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 what's it called? Aristotle, this guy. Yeah. He was, he was one of, like, uh, he was under the influence, uh, or maybe he got the of teachings drugs. of Pythagoras. No, no, of, of, <laughs> no, no. He got, he, he got the teachings of Pythagoras. Because Pythagoras was the man who was known. To spread, you know, uh, sacred geometry on forms and shapes, yeah, no and, doubt, no and doubt. mix trying to mix. It's like you said, he got from other places before. Yeah, and he so did, they knew they knew this stuff a long time. Like he tried to create a religion, actually. You know right. that? Yeah, he tried to create a religion, but then uh, uh, he would have been, He probably was religious, but yeah. what's that going to do with it? Yeah, but, I wasn't talking about. I never said to you there were people who were atheists that said the world was round. All I all I was saying to you yeah. was the Quran didn't come up with. The theory of the earth being round and you said it did no, no, my, 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 no, my point was this that no historical there's no historical evidence that suggests that the earth is round and everything rotates in a certain manner i was talking about the uh, 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 uh what do you call the solar system but that's the how idea, the idea they said the constellations yeah that's how they determined that it was a sphere that's how they determined that the planet was a ball of yeah, spherical. Okay, okay, let's just say based the, on okay. this constellation. Let's, let's let's so let's it had to be the, the fact that they were and um, plus you have to in order for them to be able to work out years um, and uh, galactic years, they have to know these things. Yeah. Like we don't give the we don't give the ancients enough credit. We still don't even know how they built these pyramids. How they did, how they worked out a lot of the things that they worked out. We don't know. A lot of these concepts have been around for for years. And then people come later, like the Christians and the Muslims, and they say, "Well, no, we came up with the things first. No, they didn't. This is why, to my understanding, the best things that the Christ, that the Bible and the Quran states is that the read the books of the ancients because they're the ones who understand where it is and i agree with that 100 percent. when the bible and the quran speak like that i'm impressed quran that, that i'm impressed teach us to learn from the past that's right but because they the bible, knew shit. i don't think the bible teaches that why know. did they know shit? because god it, 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 to argue your point god was around before the quran yeah God was so always there. so so why couldn't have God yeah. given this information also, earlier? Also, there is a verse in the Quran that says that God sent so many messengers around the world to every nation. Yeah. God sent a messenger. Maybe even Pythagoras was a messenger to the people at his time. Okay. You never know. You know. But yeah, maybe. Back, yeah, maybe. maybe. You never know. Maybe. But because go on. Make, make your last point now. Yeah, my last point. My last point. You can clo close yeah. out on it then. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. Uh, you yeah, right. You right. The, the, the last point I was, I was trying to make is that um, is that yeah. You see. You see. Um, Right now, we all agree, everyone knows that the Earth is rotating, everything is rotating. But there, there's one thing that's different from the Quran to the other people. The Quran says that the sun is always on the move. 
yeah. where science says the sun is fixed. Right. It does, the sun is here and everything is rotating around it, right? But the Quran says no, the sun is not stationary, it's moving. Now, like, when scientists look at this, they'll be like, look at this bollocks. Right? Yeah. Just like a thousand, many thousand years ago when Muslims said, uh, what was it called, the, was it called, the earth rotates around the sun, and they said, no, the sun rotates around the earth, yeah? They were like, Muslims are crazy. Also, there was a time when the European world or the Western world believed that the honey, honey, honey itself, was the disease of all. And the Quran said, no, honey is the mother of all cure. Right? Okay. Um, there was a time when um, people were trying to figure out how babies are formed. The Quran said, this is the details. Like, there is no a scripture. My last point is that there is no scripture that I know of that gives you or gives us such details. Some people will tell you the Hindus, the Hinduism, but within within the Hindu, within the Vedas and these books, yeah, what they have is the word. What, what they what they say is the word of God here, and the commentator commentating of on his own philosophy. What this is, I've got a lot of books that talk about that, yeah. Okay. And to be honest, I can't say because this what, what, all these pages that you see, it's just, just someone speaking, isn't it, saying ah, okay. da, 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 da. but then it has nothing to do with this. You know what I'm saying? So my point, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna end with this year is that okay. the, um, you are in a very good stage right now whereby you're saying okay you know what mm. i do believe in something there is energy and we know there's a cause something caused it right but i think it's time for you to figure out go to go to a journey what caused it i know it's hard but at least get an idea look allah says seek and you shall find yep. right if you if you truly want to know something many you know. many things say seek and they shall find yeah that's probably a greek no, it's not. Philosophical term. It's not a Greek philosophical uh, Well, how, how did the... Uh, Do you know uh, what? I don't know, but let me have a let's, look. Let's look at I don't think it's a Greek. Because look, Buddha says Seek it. Seek and I shall find is like yeah, some but, kind of obvious yeah, thing but to say. Buddha says it. Have a look and you will find something. Yeah, but... That's what that but, is. But look, Buddha says it. Jesus says it. Muhammad says it. Well, then it's before the Quran, then, isn't it? Yeah, but Buddha, Buddha was... That's all I was saying. Old. Yeah, but, no, yeah. no, no, I know. But well, it's only like 500 BC. Yeah, I do agree, but... Seek and Isha fire was probably thousands of years BC. Yeah, it was too old, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's just a normal thing. It's like, um, practice what you preach and be the change you want to yeah, see. Yeah, but as a Muslim, I believe things. God sent so many people to the world. Sent know? people to the world? Yeah, a lot of people are basically messengers. Just to, because God cannot come down to earth. No, God can do anything he wants to do. He can't, though. It's just, God can't do anything he wants to like, do. I mean, he can do whatever he wants, but I'm just saying he can't come down to earth. He can't, so he can do whatever he wants, but he can't do that. Because he does not, for example, do you think the sun can come to earth? Do I think the sun can come to earth? Yeah. I think that an all-powerful God, happens, I happens think that an all-powerful, well, eventually it will come to earth. If you can't handle the sight of the sun, how yeah. can you handle the sight of your Lord? I didn't say I could handle it. I just so, said God can do anything that's he wants what I said, to, God cannot according come to, to you earth, guys. Because if he wants to, he can, but if he did, we would all die. Oh, well, that's different to... You, it's not. It's different to not wanting to. But anyways, you want to do your own thing. I don't want to mess you up, inshallah. I, I think I'm bloody too cold to even do it now. <laughs> I think I'm too cold to even do it. I don't even know whether I should leave it until no, next just week do it, just do it, just do it. or whether I should just do this thing now because the guy's not even here Anything either. can happen next week. You know? Anything could happen, bloody hell. That don't, that don't sound good. <laughs> that don't sound good. I wanted to do something on Christmas but next sometimes, week. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, you're thinking tomorrow, tomorrow, but you don't, tomorrow's not promised. That's true. All right, that's true. In yeah, fact, yeah, what you, yeah, what you, what you sticking around for it, yeah? All right, basically, I wanted to present some information because remember, um, have you ever seen that guy, Bryden? Bryden, yeah, he's that, that um, dude that talks about um, you black guys need to go back to Africa. I've never seen him. Okay, well, he, he was here last week. It was interesting, it was funny because this guy even, even asked, uh, are there any black philosophers? And I couldn't think of my feet of any black philosophers, but I ended up turning around and saying, um, some people say the Socrates was black. That's kind of a, a, I have no evidence for that, I don't know. But what I should have said at the time, in hindsight, was the fact that the Greek philosophers, the ones that he's talking about, are responsible for European civilization. Those people, they all went to go and study in Africa, yeah. in Egypt. Yeah. Now this is no, this is on all the Wikipedia, uh, on all the sites. If you do a bit of research, you'll yeah. find out. Yeah. And he was basically trying to say that uh, if it weren't for white people, as black people would be messed up, <laughs> and uh, white people, this this is what the guy was really saying. Yeah, wow. he says you guys who, who don't want to go back to Africa, you're, you're sellouts, 
and oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you need the white man, but yeah. the white man don't need you, black guy. And, and you know what? I thought he was kind of like one of those wind-up people who was just trying to make it to where... The guy with the uh, orange beard. No, 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 no. It's a blonde beard, I don't know. No, no, you'll have, to, you'll have to watch it, man, and see what he'll say. Was his name Brian? Bryden. Bryden. I think his name was Bryden. So this is like dedicated to Bryden still. Okay, Bryden, um, are you watching this? This is dedicated to Bryden. Then, so what I thought was, yeah. like many armies, yeah. like many armies, when is it when is uh, debates on a particular or when is a, a war on some on a, on a situation, um, you would conquer like what Egypt what happened with Egypt when they were conquered by was it the Hyksos or whatever? Yeah. Uh, not only did they push them out and defeat them eventually, but they chased them further all the way back. Well, not I think it was back to their land. Yeah. So I wanted to intellectually, academically, do that in terms of this in terms of this Afrocentrism that seems to be going around at the moment. Because there's a lot of, I think it's on Wikipedia where the concept of the Egyptians being black is a conspiracy theory, right? The concept, the, even the thought of ancient Egyptians, Africans being black is kind of like a conspiracy theory. That's how I've seen it being, uh, being termed. So, 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 so oh, what cool. I wanted to do was yeah take it away from Africa and actually take it back and drop some interesting stuff that I learned, yeah. which was not only is it, uh, not only were many great achievements done by black Africans, um, but also the people of, I mean, we know about the Moors and we know about the contributions that they gave to yeah. Europe and, yeah. and, and like we were talking about Galileo. Yeah. All of a sudden it seems um, during the uh, Renaissance that Europeans just all of a sudden came out with loads of knowledge yeah. and all of a sudden they enlightened the world yeah. and then we, we ended up with this society that we have now. Yeah. When we know through any decent amount of research that information has been each civilization has stood on the or sat on the shoulders of other civilizations it took the whole world of peoples to be able to create what we have today uh, in terms of mobile phones uh, uh, televisions fridge freezers it's everybody that's contributed to all this but we don't give everybody the credit for being able to do this now so Actually, there were a lot of um, black inventors in America there's a lot of, who invented yeah. the, like the first telephone uh, uh, like hand telephone was invented by a black guy I've got like I don't want to say this on, on camera without saying names I don't have right, the names yeah. now but maybe next Sunday if I'm not sure if I'm I don't like the cold but if for some reason I come here yeah then I'm gonna bring all the names, all, all everything that we think a white man yeah, invented. Yeah. Traffic lights. Yeah, everything. Refrigeration machines. Exactly. All that kind I'm of things. I'm gonna bring all the names, yeah. and these people can look into it. Yeah. Black people actually contributed it to the invention world. But remember, yeah. America is a white man's world. So, and the white man is always better than the black man. So whatever the black man does is not credited. In theory, yeah, yeah, yeah. In theory. But I wouldn't say in theory, because then the end of the day, um, right now. What you were saying, actuality. Is in actuality. You're saying the white man is, is actually better than the black man. No, no, that's no, no. Basically, that's that's what <laughs> they say. theory, yeah, that's that's, that's the hype, what, that's, that's the theory they put forward. Yeah. Oh, no, no, but basically, the, the fact that that thought or that train of thought exists in these people is there. It's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, these people do think that way. Yeah. Because yeah. when when they're talking about black people, they they try to come to you in a in a, symp it's a sympathetic way. You know. Okay. Oh, yeah, is it? Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um. But what, what, what are you trying to say is that like, it's time that African people and black people have put up their histories. For, for example, the idea of Egypt being a, a not being a, 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 the, 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 the first civilization of Egypt not being, having nothing to do with black. History teaches this. All the history books, I'm going to tell this to all the, all the history books. That, uh, that I was reading this book on, on, Netflix, uh, on, on audio, which was called uh, Audible. Right, I downloaded it, six, six pounds, yeah? Uh, it talks about the history of Africa in whole. And when I was talking about Egypt, it talks about the Nubian Egypt, Egyptian times. It talks about the Cushetic Egyptian times. It talks about, you know, the start of Egypt and where it started from, right? And the civilization and the tribes that were there. Yeah. And, you know, how everything changed, right? Yeah. Um, the only time Egypt became white is during the Greek invasion, during the Roman invasion yeah, and all this time, the Coptic, uh, uh, what was it called, Egyptians, yeah. all this time, yeah? Okay. Slowly, time passed and you know, now we have white Egyptians. Just like in Arabia, when the Arab world in the Middle East, people were as dark as me at some point, or maybe a bit brother, light, light brother than me, maybe, but, but they, had knows, dark, yeah. they had dark hue, yeah. right? They had a dark hue. And for them to have this, 
even Rasulullah says in, in uh, Prophet Muhammad gives a prophecy that one day there will be people from Persia and by the way anything if you go to uh, 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 what's it called the Asian parts North Asia West Asia the people are light skinned right yeah. and Persia is part of I think Western Asia okay. I, I, can, I can be correct on that but anyway the Persians will come who are in in reality they are people of white skin they would come and take over the Arab world and, and, and mix with them, Gen what is it called, genetically. That's, exact, that's the exact word used, yeah. genetically, right? Yeah. And that's why you have the, south, the more north you go to Arabia, the light skin they get, the southern you go, the darker they get. Well, now, that's, what, that's what I wanted to comment on. Because yeah. yeah. in general, that theory is kind of correct about the more north you go, the yeah. lighter they are, more yeah. and south. the south you go, the darker. If you go to Somalia, the, if you go south, people are really dark. Here's They're the north, problem yeah. though, here's the problem. What I found that, First, I found that first I, I found some with the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. Now I don't agree with the philosophy or their understanding, because again I don't believe in the the literal sense of the Bible. Yeah. But there were certain things that they were saying, like King James being a black guy. King, I don't I, think I, it, I, no, that's, that, that's silly. That. That's silly, right? That's silly. Don't make any sense, yeah, no, no. right? I think, I think such things are created so, so that people can dismiss any other uh, uh, claim that uh, people of African descent make. Okay. They'll be like, oh, right. These are the same people that said King James was black. Yeah, they, these people are ridiculous. So, right. they, like, they, so it's like double proofing? Yeah, okay. exactly. Then also, here's another, here's another outlandish weird claim. Saint, Saint Patrick, yeah. you know from St. Patrick's Day, yeah. Irish, yeah. when he chased the snakes into the sea, yeah. It was actually black people that was chasing into the sea, and these snakes are symbolic of being pygmy races. Now that sounds mad as well, right? No, I don't know about that. Now hold on. Yeah. Well, it's the same. It's the same situation because and to add to add to the craziness, those pygmy black people were referred to as uh, pixies, fairies, dwarves, and elves. Yeah. So now the, the movies like The Lord of the Rings and shit like that. They're based, I'm going to put it forward, that they're based on real people. Oh, wow. And the Grimm's Fairy Tales, if you've ever heard of that, are based on real people. What was the evidence for that, though? So, I was talking to the Irish guy, yeah. Leon put me forward to him, because he's like a, I don't know if he's a nationalist or something, but he knows about Irish history. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So, based on the information that I came in contact with, I thought, okay, let me have a discussion with this guy. Yeah. But for some reason, he's not here right now. So, I thought I'd present it by myself. So, here's what I'm going to show you. Yeah. So I came up with, or I came across with, and my hands are bloody shaking, so I can't even do it. Tell me I'll do it for you. Um, I came across information from scientific books. So because of the level of Afrocentrism, the, the fact that people are accusing black people of making up stuff and trying to say that everything is created by black, what I'm going to use is I'm only going to use European academic sources and materials. So. And what I'm going to end with is, remember how you said it was ridiculous for uh, King James to be a black man? Yeah. I'll finish with that, with the evidence on that. I'll start with the background, which is how the explanation for Britain being... Okay. Now, this is uh, Footprints of Vanished Races in Cornwall. And this is from 1900 to 1901. And um, oh, you want to you want to wear my hat because you're a bit shaking and your hair's a bit like. Am I shaking up bad like that? Yeah, yeah, so Let me try and um, respect, man. Respect. Oh, you know what? That's nice, my damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So this is about thirty pages, but I'm going to try and pick certain points. Um, first it starts talking about the kind of animals that were in England and stuff like hippopotamus and tigers and lions. Yeah. So it starts yeah, talking down it yeah. yeah. So they were talking about um, Paleolithic human beings. Okay. But later on it starts to talk about oh here we go. Here we go. Okay, now this bit is interesting. Let me start from here. Let me start from here. Okay. So it says I would apply these uh, conclusions to Cornwall because what they were saying is that these there was uh, black populations of people in Cornwall, Scotland, and Ireland, okay. right, um, and Wales as well because the Roman um, historian Tacitus, when he was talking about the um, Welsh, he was talking about dark-skinned, curly-haired people, and it, he said it was something to do with the fact that they were, 
the proximity to Spain. So we were saying that these dark people came up through Spain and inhabited uh, Wales, but also Scotland and, and Ireland as well. Okay. So this is in, I would apply these conclusions to Cornwall. So before are, you start, what book is that? This is uh, the journal, uh, the journal of the Royal Institution of Cornwall. Yeah. So this is an official book. Okay. These are science books that are to do with the academics of Britain. So it's got anthropologists, historians, all that kind of stuff. So this, so this is yeah. This is what I'm saying. So this is what I was trying to show the Irish guy. This ain't black people writing this. This is from European British scholars, commissioned by. Hold on, commissioned by uh, who was it? Uh, the Prince of Wales. Um, and this is in the time of, in fact, Queen Victoria's just died. So this is the kind of information that we're pushing around. This is some interesting information. So I would apply these conclusions to Cornwall. We have our legends of pixies, fairies and little people, as these stories are now understood in Europe, to refer to a real race of prehistoric dwarfs. So I believe we may understand them with reference to Cornwall. I believe then that our pixies and fairies were genuine Cornish dwarves belonging to a real race of diminutive human beings. As to the fairies, they had a similar origin. They were not uh, the dethroned gods of the heathen Celts, nor were they the spirits of the unbaptized children or of Druids who had rejected Christianity, but they were originally dwarfs and pygmies, similar to the pygmies, similar to the piskies. So that's another word. I think that's where the word pixie came from, from piskies, yeah? Uh, this, this is also explained, this will also explain the tradition existing among the French peasantry that the pixie, that the fairies were mortal and the stories that long ago they were actually killed in Wales. Cornwall then was in the early days of the Neolithic age inhabited by a race of pygmies like the Bushmen of South Africa and whom for convenience I shall call the Pisky Dwarfs. Uh, then he starts talking about, okay, so the diminutive flint arrowheads found all over the Western Europe furnish another proof of the existence of these pygmies. These little arrowheaded uh, arrowheads occur in France some early half an inch, long being figured by um, M. D. Morlier or something. They have been found in the kitchen midden at Hastings. Uh, they are bound in Ireland, and this Reverend Reginald Gatty has found in large numbers them in Yorkshire. They are also found in um, Germany and Poland as well. So, so who are these people in origin? Are they, are they African? Well, if I get to the next part where he starts talking about, because in there he's talking about Britain made uh, night attack. Oh, now nah, this is interesting. Okay. Um, the Akaz, uh, a race of d uh, dwarfs in Central Africa, now use diminutive bows and arrows. So they're just talking about the type of technology that we're using. Now in a singular tradition, it says that these flint, says that these flint arrowheads were the darts of a uh, darts shot at cattle during night by fairies, hence they were often known as elf arrows. So these are just kind of the things that people, these are the urban legends of like the Scottish, the Irish, the Cornish, talking about these little people. What we did is we took them and we turned them, we dehumanized them and turned them into like fairy tales and characters when really these are the Aboriginal indigenous people to this, to this country and it's weird because like I said these guys like Bryden are trying to say you guys need to go home to Africa and I've often heard stories about how um, like with the um, what's the call the Grimaldi man who came from black Grimaldi man who came from Africa up the west coast of um, Africa through Europe did all the cave paintings and stuff and then landed in Europe then you've got the Cheddar Man 6,000 years ago. The Cheddar Man was his dark skin. Which is a dark skinned guy with the blue eyes. Yeah. So then it's, they, what they're trying to say is that 6,000 years ago, six to 10,000 years ago is when you started to see the white gene. Yeah. Right? And it was based on the cereals. Yeah. Some
Man say it straight. Man don't listen to BBC. Man don't listen to ITV. And Twitchy of what was formerly called Burma and Myanmar in the ethnocide, the ethnic cleansing of the Muslims, the Rohingya Muslims of Rakhine province in Myanmar. So far, so good. My only problem was this year, 2019, commemorates 30 years, a generation, since a similar incident occurred in West Africa, in the country called the Islamic Republic of Mauritania. The Jamhuriya Islamiya of Mauritania. And my concern in this matter 